low low I start the oh that's way too loud for me I'm oh, sorry about that seems way too loud alright no no I start once the song loops Sometimes pulling like on streams takes so much time and the stories are getting longer and longer so I just want to get right into the story immediately. So I already do my pulling off stream. I'll do a video about it, but like that's just oh, I'm just gonna Ms. want Burton, everything to. I suggest we spend more time together. Like I'll do a video about this later, but let me just listen thank you this. for inviting me, Miss Vertin. A typical room is more than fine. Oh, by the way, do you happen to have a swimming pool here? Yes, we always feel most at home in the water. It falls from the sky flows into the sea and eventually runs through our mouths and gills. No, Rusalki will never stay away from it for long. You just taught me a lesson. It seems that kids lose their focus quickly, no matter their age. We get up on time, clean our rooms, and even have regular meals. Strange, I know. Hmm, what must I do for you to join us? You had a productive the, day oh, right. and deserve a relaxing night. No reason for anyone to get in your way. My mother used to roll and braid my hair when it was still wet. Luckily, the wind was very dry in my hometown, so all I had to do was take a walk for my hair to become fluffy again. There are only two places in the human world where I felt free to show my scales. The first was Rayashki, and the other is here. These paint stains and water spots were left after class. The children get so excited when they're focused on their work, but I actually like the mess. It makes for a dazzling display, a little like the scales on my tail, don't you think? Back in the old days, we often danced around the campfire. After that, we talked about life and told the children the true history of our land. Sometimes, we would just sit in silence, waiting for the future to arrive. 
I learned this from living among the humans. The cold water doesn't bother Rusalki. So when I saw that girl in the lake, her face had turned blue as ice. Poor kid. Hmm. Did she have to bathe in water to cast her arcane skill? We make an ideal team. Yeah, I got all of this. Join with us, comrades. That's a long animation. I will remember your sacrifice. We are like-minded. We share the same dream. Hard scales. Sharp fangs. For you and for us. For the good of all. To a brighter future for everyone. <laughs> Cheer up. Sadly, they... Cheer up. The Keep life going. duty, this life duty for doesn't our come dream, to comrade. I really wanted it. Thank you for but your help, dear comrade. Has human like legs. But from the icebergs heart to mountains, has the from the sea to the I land. Really wanted the tail I have here. traveled between oh, these sure. worlds countless times. Then, I found Rayashki at the intersection of these worlds, small but hopeful, alone in its dream, but maybe not so in the future. Like, it's in he this art, but like, it's not on the here or like here. Like, you can see some semblance of like the tail, but like, it's not a full tail. But you can't see it when it's just like here. Anyway, and let's just go straight. We get up on time, clean our rooms, and... 25... 55... 60... 16? Or is this hard mode? Or is this... Sixteen. Sixteen stages. Oh, but that's not everything. So sometimes there's stages. Just sixteen playable stages of sixteen. Welcoming ceremony. I once traveled to a small town called Rayashki. It was located high up within the Arctic Circle, and it was frigid cold all year long. After my visit there, I traveled to many more places, from Zealand to the Balkan Peninsula. My journey went on and on. But above all other places, I kept finding my thoughts returning to that little town, to its incandescent lights glowing in the long dark of the polar night, to the shared dream of the people there. I got this picture book from Ryashki. It is a children's book, a thin one at that, but the story inside has the power to warm a frigid heart. Once opened, whirls of bright primary colors run into one another and flow up onto my palm. I found myself returning to it during stormy days when I was stuck at home. This is a story about honest and ordinary people. Is this fin some? Hello, hello. We're just getting started.
The swans are dancing in a circle. Their arms go back and forth. Vila and the swans have done this dance almost 20 times last week. She taught the swans all their beautiful moves. Swan Lick is the best ballet ever. I remembered Mr. Avgeny once said so. He also said the tortoises would come to watch the show. But why would tortoises want to watch Swan Lick? Vila says she doesn't like the tortoises. She likes knowledge. I don't know much about knowledge. But I think Miss Vila is always right. Only between you and me? Vila smells like seaweed and coral. But those are happy smells to me. I think she must be the princess of the ocean. But she tells us she is not special. And that everyone here is equal. No matter if they are a princess or a swan. That we all have two feet and ten fingers. And if we all work together, we can build the beacon to the future. I hope in the future we still get to sing and dance. When we are not building beacons. Nina's favorite food is called Alonka. It's a chocolate bar. She used to cry a lot whenever she made a mistake with her dancing. But then Vila talked to her, and now she doesn't cry so much. For one time, she danced very, very perfectly. So, Vila gave her a piece of an Alonka bar. I believe she will be a great dancer. If she doesn't get too nervous on stage, then she could have even more chocolate. I wish I was like her. I want chocolate too. But I'm not the swan like her. And now, there's never any Alyonka in the canteen's cupboard. Now Nina is the swan princess. The most prettiest of all swans. Basono is the swan prince. He is a nice one, and he has many, many swan friends. And Piotr is the evil sorcerer, a black swan. Nobody wanted to be the bad guy, but Piotr doesn't mind. He is very serious and always bossy to everyone, so he doesn't have many swan friends. Piotr just wants to do his job as perfectly as he can, because he loves our town. Now, August is not a swan, but he also loves his town. Then there is a little mouse who moves as quickly as the blowing wind. Will it be our new visitor? What was it that Vila said about new visitors? I don't remember now. Reporting to you, Comrade Villa, I have a very important question. Well then go ahead, little Comrade Avgust. How shall we receive the new visitors coming to town? Maybe we can welcome them with Yanka? Or friendship? Or maybe something else? <laughs> 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 
we will welcome them with white snow, with smiles on our faces, and with welcoming arms we used to achieve our dreams, as we do for everyone who comes here, little comrade. It's always good to ask questions. But don't forget your task today, all right? Ooh! I won't. My drawings are important. But Vila says entertaining our new friends is also important. Which one comes first? After the swans have flown away, Evgeny will go up to the stage. Evgeny is not an evil sorcerer, but he knows a secret magic that makes everyone's tongues hide in their mouths. He is not so much a bad person, I think. Evgeny's shadow is very long, but no one. Not even my sunflower can explain why. Evgeny walks heavily onto the stage. His appearance comes without any applause. <clears throat> we have received a telegraph. Zeno's investigators will arrive here in Rayashki tomorrow afternoon. And we will be hosting a welcome ceremony. I understand your concerns. I know you don't want Zeno to interfere with your lives, nor do you want their troops stationed here. And I would remind you that they have honored their side of the deal for decades now. We give them runium ore, and they supply us in return. It should be as simple as that. Always it has been this way, since my grandfather's time. Times have changed, Comrade Knut. In the old days, Zeno used to pay us generously for mining this runium, because our ore was necessary for their arcane combat vehicles. But now, we have nearly exhausted all our mines. You know this better than I do. <sighs> but isn't there some other work we can do? Already we build our own houses, and now we even grow our own crops. He's right. Why must we work with Zeno if we could feed ourselves? Comrades, calm yourselves. Evgeny is doing this for everybody's sake. Have you forgotten about those little monsters? Is there anyone left on our defense team that hasn't been injured fighting them? It is as Comrade Nikita said. The critters are running rampant these days. Not only have they occupied most of our minds, some have even found their way into the town. Do you really think we can protect our people with our small defense team? Don't you care about your neighbor's safety? Do you want to keep Ryashki, an isolated town, just to let it die? Rayashki is more than an isolated town, Evgeny. And we all know that. But this is the reality we all must face now. Comrade Evgeny, it was your idea to turn to these Xeno big guys for help. 
but you never even asked what we think, did you? So you can't blame us for disagreeing now. I'm doing this for your good. We can take care of ourselves. The wind. Oh, it's that thing. Everyone, watch out! Defense team! On it! Double team. Try out real. Um, I think they did on special stages on Morpha. They. This is. This is just the <laughs> preparation. <laughs> it's already. I think you, you already heard this before. Duty lies with you. I admire your courage. Keep up the pace. Learn from silence. To transcribe. Careful with the pages. Uh, um, did I miss something? So good. Every time, uh... the first time you hear on fire mode. This must be so happy. I should excuse myself. That ending tune is so clean. I salute your sense of smell, Comrade Vila. We could have suffered much more severe consequences without your forewarning. Think nothing of it. It's just a reflex reaction when there's danger nearby. But this incursion has proved my point. We need Zeno's help. The other townspeople are not gifted with your set of talents. 
we are all vulnerable to the growing dangers. Wouldn't you agree? I only ask you to put yourself in their shoes. Your criticism is valid and well accepted, Comrade Evgeny. Perhaps I could agree with your plan. Provided Zeno's presence is a temporary one, we just don't want them to change things for us here. I'm glad that you have finally come to realize what is best for us. Zeno is known for their rigorous methods and rational decision-making, and they are committed to maintaining peace around the world. I'm sure they will make the right decision. They trusted us to supply their ore, and we have faithfully played our part in supporting them. Thanks to our help, Zeno has successfully tackled many international issues. It has always been them and us together, fighting for a better world. <laughs> when he puts it that way, he is right. We should be proud of our cooperation. <laughs> Therefore, we will show our appreciation to Zeno for the contributions they've made to the world with our help. Now let's continue our rehearsals. Have you seen August? I can't find him. Hmm? Strange. Where did he go? Hmm. <laughs> Looking for a new link left in the cupboards, I bet. He's always breaking the rules, doing whatever he wants. We shouldn't talk badly about our classmate, Piotr. He's one of us. <sighs> yes, you're right. I just wanted everyone to do their best, even him. Don't worry, kids. We will find them. A child is missing, Comrade Evgeny. I suggest a temporary suspension of our rehearsals. Ah, oh, it must be that strange kid again. He is always sneaking away like this. He is only trying to understand the world in his own way. It's just the first one. Discoveries. So Vila once this. said that sunflowers mean warmth, and that makes them everyone's friends. 
they would warmly welcome every guest that comes to town. Just like my best friend here, right? I'm like allowing them. Like, I have a extension that translates like everything to English. It's not perfect and I turn it off because sometimes the English part, English comments are like getting being broken. But like if you want, you can find some extensions from any browser that can translate anything to your language. I guess it's really it's decent enough that you could understand what the what others are talking about. Anyway, let's just continue. <sighs> best friends. Everyone should have a best friend. It's his powers. It's written in her character profile. It's on his character profile. Alright. Now here are big friends, small friends, many, many friends. So that our new guests won't feel so lonely when they come. Amazing. I've never seen such a highly mutated Ijirak before. Ijirak. I would have missed these precious research opportunities if there weren't a gathering in the town. Oh, Win Song seems like life has been good to you in your theory. The disorder in lay energy here has not only caused the exhaustion of the Runian mines, but has also mutated local critters to varying degrees. Hmm. Hmm. Then Zeno was right. No wonder they have sent so many researchers here to look for abnormalities. Even the crank ones like me. It's obvious that this town has more to it than a handful of overly active Wait. critters. But they don't seem especially interested in the mutant ones either. Zeno, what were you looking for here? I'm pretty sure this is the 1990s. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. 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 Or at least they're... Wait, no. Hmm? Hey, let go! Let go of my leg! <laughs> Strange. You're not a fox, and you're not a sable. Hey, kid, what are you doing? Oh, shoot. Ejirax are usually known for their good temper. It seems to not apply to their mutant kin. Fine. We make an ideal team. Oh, listen to this. Join with us, comrades. Let's get in there. Okay. 
I will remember your sacrifice. I admire your courage. Keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. Yeah, Together, I thought they were gonna we are fearless. Are you a rational member? It's like a perfect time. We share the same dream. The moment of silence. It could be found. To a brighter future for everyone. Benefit from reading. Oh, it's a bubble. I will remember your sacrifice. Aha! Victory! Okay, but what does it mean to us? I mean, what does it prove? Природа — это числа и черты. Um, are you building blocks here? <laughs> Lucky for us, it seems to still be afraid of the dark like the rest of its kind. It's finally over. Oh! My materials! Wow. You are the most, most. You drove away all the bad creatures and protected everyone. The swans on the stage, the big burning furnaces in the factory, and even the uncle sleeping in the mine with Papa. I think they would all give you a big thumbs up. Huh? Call me Winsong? Just to be clear, I'm not a spy, kid. I'm just a traveler staying in town for the moment. Ooh, but I have never seen you before. Do you also like the rest in the water? Like Villa? Do you also have your beautiful blue tail? I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm certain that I'm not what you think I am, little fellow. I am a... <clears throat> researcher. We often stay in quiet corners when we work on a project, so you won't see us often. Understand? Researchers? Like those people on TV? I saw them stand on a tall, tall stage with flowers in their arms. They spoke a lot and cried. And then they were given a shiny medal. Vila said the medals were to praise them for being very clever. Can I see your medal? Um... <laughs> oh, the crystal on you looks stunning. 
It looks purer than those in the mine carts. Of course. Papa gave it to me. It is precious, but also very dangerous. A crystal like this is almost as volatile as undiluted runium ore. They use this stuff for war machines. Kid, listen to me. Put that away. You Go home now and don't let anyone see it. Understand? It could stimulate the critter's appetite. <gasps> Actually, just holding a bomb in his neck. Can you build a very, very tall wall? One that can protect the whole town? Like what you did with the blocks? I'm sorry, little fellow. That was just a trick. It won't last long. Oh, that was amazing! Nina, Knut, Vila, everyone should learn from you. Could I make the doors and stones listen to me like you did one day? Will I be great? Like you? A strange kid like you should live in the age of Aquarius and be a part of the New Age movements or become some kind of yogi doing meditation. And do it anywhere but here. The New Age movement. What is that? Is that what you're from? It's not a place, it's a spirit of a time, full of interesting things like crystals, new schools of thought, many crazy and creative ideas. Will the sun close its eyes? Will the dark clouds speed on people? Will our ships blow bubbles under the water? Of course. They even believe that the world is a giant piece of blank paper, and they are the artists drawing on it. And not only that, they are obsessed with bizarre ideas. Where did the Stonehenge on the Salisbury Plain come from? Where are the ships and planes which traveled past the Sargasso Sea now? Like them. They called themselves lay hunters, the apprentices of a once renowned school of thought. However, few people in academic circles accepted the idea of ley lines as an answer to their questions. So, for these lay hunters, it has been a long walk through a dark night. Can come to the Yashki. Here the sun never sets. Half the year, anyways. Then I can be their friend. And when I grow up, I will be a lay hunter too. I'm afraid it's a bit too late, little fellow. Most have already given up. They lost interest in solving the mysteries and lost their faith in finding the curves and the lines. So, the study of ley lines has been all but abandoned. There's only one fool left that hasn't given it up. And you, I suppose, are this only one fool, yes? Ah, 
Uh, please, ma'am. Believe me, I am not a child abductor. Well? I think this isn't a good place to receive our guests. We have much more appropriate arrangements for new friends. But... If our guest has any ill intentions, we will retaliate. Um... We're here. Thank you for taking care of little comrade August, miss. Hmm? Little comrade August. Uh, you mean I'm not here to be questioned? Or arrested? <laughs> of course not. Perhaps we're a little too optimistic, but when we meet a stranger, we prefer to welcome them. Oh, well, I'm Winsong. That's a very unique name. And where is it you come from? From the east side of the Dniester River. No offense, miss, but you have a complicated and unfamiliar scent about you. The smell of hard rocks, a lighthouse by the sea, rainwater in the humid summer... Mm, nothing hostile, though. <laughs> I think most rootless travelers like me smell like that. Welcome to Rayashki, Miss Winsong. Thank you. I understand your caution, but... You have nothing to worry about. It's not a disease. Anyway, let's talk about you. I heard that you are a researcher. Not long ago, many of your peers visited here. They wandered around and looked under every rock and floorboard in the town, like you do. I thought perhaps they were attracted here by the town itself. But regrettably, not long after, they left one after another in disappointment. I was disappointed too. Will you be like them? Those people are famous scholars. Of course they won't spend too much time on a project with unclear prospects. But I... I'm used to those. I salute you for your courage and spirit of exploration. I thought you... I thought you might be more hostile to me. Shouting things like, who do you think you are to prowl about on our private property? <laughs> huh? Many see the study of ley lines like finding a needle in the grass of a Siberian field. Wasted effort with negligible results. There is no such thing as meaningless work. 
It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, or what you do. You will find your purpose here. Is that so? No wonder how you have such an unusual student like August. All that childhood wonder. Innocence. Somehow you've preserved it in him, haven't you? Is the show finished? We cancelled our rehearsal, August. Mr. Evgeny just left red-faced. Yes, and he cancelled the friendship cheese on the food menu. All thanks to you. But I was welcoming our new friend. And we have lost our cheese because of you. This is all your fault. You're the most bothersome kid in Ryashki. I know that word. Most means the best. So thank you, Piotr. You! August, we don't see anyone new here. You're not lying again, are you? She's with Vila. They greet each other. Share footprints and even sing together. Wind song is also the best. She can draw many lines on the snow and even on a seagull. We're not having another freak in town, right? Do you mean drawing on the blackboard like Miss Vila did? She made the earth turn into a tall, tall wall. And she blew her breath at it and made a building appear. If we had enough lay hunters like her working together, we would be able to send sunflowers high into the sky. Ah, that's not so tough. All the men in town know how to build stuff like that. When we grow up, we will work like them with hoes and shovels. But that will take ages. If we can learn how to build like the lay hunters, then we can help the adults right now. Don't listen to August. Hmm. <laughs> Greetings, Miss Winsong. Hmm? Is it true? Can you really shape the earth into different things and build things from it? Not exactly. The things I build with my arcane skill have only a momentary effect. I can't use it that way. I learned it as part of my research while studying ley lines. Song. Those things Afkus told us, are they true? The sun that closes its eyes, the dark clouds that spit on people, and the lines that can reveal everything. Miss Winsong, will you be our teacher? Like Miss Vila? Can you prove anything? Kids, one question at a time. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Vila. I should explain it to them. Mine is not a formal discipline. Many people believe that it relies too much on the observations of arcanists, and the conclusions aren't useful for the public. So it is best that you kids do not study it. <sighs> a pursuit of passion fit for only a very stubborn fool like me. I see. Then you must show us all about it. Shouldn't she, kids? 
I'm sure Miss Wonsong would be very happy to give us a special lesson about her studies. Uh, uh huh. Yay! It's actually blue arc. I won't it. She's gonna teach. She's gonna be a teacher. Uh, Miss Vila, I thought I made myself clear. You have worked hard in this pursuit of passion, haven't you? Regardless, the study of ley lines is, well, it's useless. Useless. These kids should learn something like geography. It's a much more thorough and important field. As far as the general public and academic institutions are concerned, the study of ley lines is just a niche aspect of geography. Worse still, one that is solely accessible to arcanists. To devote any real time to its investigation would take up valuable research funds and equally valuable researchers. At least that was how they felt about it. Who can say for certain? What about you? Do you also think that the study of ley lines is a waste of funds and manpower? I... of course I don't. Through ley lines we can detect arcanum-related events in the area, learn about local arcane creatures, and find the secrets hidden both above and below the Earth's surface. Okay, that's that's a little stuff uh loop point but i can't yet prove this to people well you don't have to prove it alone it doesn't matter what others think of your work the only important thing is finding its uses. <sighs> At first, Rayashki was just a remote village, far north in the Arctic Circle. People came here to share a dream of a better future. It was only by luck that we found the Romeo. Then, Zeno approached us and became our business partner. For over 60 years, people here have worked together to make it what it is now. We built the school, the swimming pool, and the cinema for everyone. Rayashki embraces and takes in every newcomer. You and your studies are no exception. This is where our paths meet. <laughs> Just doing this for you. I'm doing this for a better future. A well rounded education is vital in bringing up the next generation of scientists and workers. Our children should learn more about this world, even from those perspectives and types of knowledge that aren't widely accepted. Thank you, Miss Vila.
The study of ley lines sees the world as a clear map. That's cool. That's a wallpaper. I don't know if this is like in is probably generated in the game and not a video. If it is a video, I want it. Or well, maybe I could just record it. The cities look like squares to us, while natural landscapes appear to be curves overlapping one another. Many bizarre places in the world, such as the location of the Tunguska explosion or the mysterious 30th parallel north, can't be drawn in squares and curves like cities in ordinary landscapes. We need to find a way to indicate them in a clear, precise way. It's wind sounds from the other things. What? Wait. It's a maze. Are they trying to well, teach us Well, it map is again? the ley line map of a city, but you are right. It does look like a maze. To begin with, I should introduce the most crucial concept in the study of ley lines. That of ley energy. It is a special energy which we can easily detect throughout the town. See how it comes out from underneath the ground and goes into the local biosphere, circulating around like a system. If we think of the town's ley lines as a food web, then ley energy lies at its foundation. Like how big fish eat small fish, and small fish eat even smaller fish. Exactly. They are the smallest fish eaten by the big fish. If we catch the big fish and study what they eat, we will know where to find the other big fish. And the lay energy, I mean, when the big fish die and break down, the small fish will go back to where they first came from. The circulation goes on and on. You've put it very well, Miss Winsong. Like the rainwater that comes from the ocean to the rivers and returns back to the ocean. You're a quick learner. But it is not exactly like water. The concentration of lay energy is far more noticeable than that of a lake or a school of fish. Once we find its densest spot, we'll be able to trace it back to its source. Then what are these bright spots? These are the energy-rich locations. In a way, they indicate the energy flow. So many! They look like stars in the sky. Yes! And finding these locations can be very costly in terms of time and manpower. Then what do we do after finding them? They can tell us many things. The lay hunters will follow their courses, analyze the components in them, and match those components to each resource. Some of the components don't match with any of the known resources, which means there might be a new resource waiting to be discovered. Of course, from the lay energy, we can also learn about the local critters. You talk about strange things, almost like Avgus does. These are just lines. Like dancing earthworms. They wriggle, they twist. They're having fun. Jumping on the waves. Then into the little boxes, and back into the little boats. <sighs> Great, we have two of them now. They look interesting, but we don't really understand.
Cheer up, kids. It's not finished yet. Leyline cartography is complicated. It takes the efforts of many lay hunters working together, investigating the area, even braving dangerous and forbidden places. To this day, we've never been able to finish a completed lay energy map. balls are our homes. Oh, I live here. The third ball on the left of yours. You're very bright, Avgus. This is the lay energy map of Rayashki. But Miss Vinsong, why are you mapping the energy of our town? Have you found any secrets that we don't know? Children, right now you can only see what's above the ground. But there is even more lay energy beneath the ground. <laughs> Will the sun always be in the sky? Will the glaciers ever melt away? What lies in the darkness beneath us? Are there other critters around here that you've never seen? How should we deal with them? I heard once that there were many strange footprints next to the school windows. Uncle Patrick saw it. A monster with six legs and each one has spikes. That must be a Kikirn. A small-sized Canaday critter, mostly seen in cold areas. But the lay energy might have affected the weather of their habitat, or they wouldn't be here in Rayashki in summer. The deep blue line here shows that particular one's movement. Or maybe Uncle Patrick could have drunk too much. The lay energy accumulated in them suggests that they mostly feed on moss and worms under the snow and stay near town. We can infer that this is a docile herbivorous kind of critter that is merely curious about human behavior. I think feeding them will be much more useful than driving them away. Since these critters began to overrun the area, the defense team has encountered many new creatures. I can feel there is something strange about them, but I can't yet understand the differences. You provided a different angle on the situation, Miss Winsong. I believe it would help the defense team greatly. The fire is in the only sees our elk, the bees and kites then see around the pond, white mosses on the wall, oh, oh, stones will fall down from the sky. Hmm? Stop saying these strange things, August. The defense team will keep the critters out of town and protect everyone. And there will not be any stones falling from the sky. Is everything all right, Piotr? Yeah, you're lying. Ryashki is safe. It will be your home forever. I hate to tell you this, kid, but... What August just said could be right. I have the same feeling that the good weather here won't last too long.
Look at those thick gray lines. Those are the traces of cloud movements and moisture. Now they're mingled together. But the sun will still be shining. Miss Vila said that the polar day will last for a very, very long time. Miss Vila was right. And past statistics don't lie. According to the data, the weather here should continue for the next few months. Yet the ley lines say otherwise. They say the weather will be extremely unpredictable. You're making things up. The forecaster on TV said the weather in Nayashki will be temperate in the coming months. And the weather forecaster was right, according to his analysis. Mm -hmm. But life is full of surprises. I know why you're concerned, Miss Winsong. I feel the glaciers are melting slightly faster than usual. There is going to be a warm front forming from the melting water. But... but will there really be stones falling from the sky? I can't say anything for certain just yet, kid. All I have is this incomplete map, and as you can see, many sources of the marks and traces haven't been located, which means we can't come up with a precise calculation. But there's no question that Ryashki will soon face many challenges. The weather could become much worse. The environment might change. Maybe some unknown critters might turn up. Hmm. Hmm. Liar! You're all liars! Rayashki is at home, so it can be dangerous! Beautiful! You can't fly if your feathers get wet. <sighs> they will need some time to take in all this new knowledge. Don't you agree? I thought I could handle all their questions. I think I made things worse. Sorry. Have faith in them. They will come around. Their, uh, their character info, the official one that they posted, their eras is labeled as 1990s. If anybody is curious about that, so yeah, everything is on the 90s. Are you here to laugh at me? All these stories of monsters and falling stones, they aren't good at all. I overheard Mr. Evgeny talking. He said the town has so many problems, and soon what some people think will decide our future. If people believe in those terrible stories, maybe they will be scared and they won't come back to Rayashki. Our town will be forgotten. But I wasn't lying. <laughs> hmm? Hello, Kikiru. What? What are you doing? I will draw attention. You go find a defense team for help. I'll go and... Uh, Cheer up! Go to the bed. 
Turn case. And take a break. Just add an add random ad. It's just gonna be cool. The moment of silence. I admire your courage. It could be fun. If you need to Until the torch is go lit. ahead and get some more. Together we are fearless. Victory secured. I should excuse myself. I'll just let this finish. Yeah, this is an event story. Next one is anniversary, so... <laughs> it's a G. Perhaps it's gonna be a continuation of... Main. <laughs> it feels warm. Doesn't it? Miss Winsong said they can be our friends. That they will bring seeds to every corner of the town. Like a gardener? Yes. Go plant more sunflowers, Kikirn. So, Miss Winsong was not a liar. I'll go to the bathroom and run some ad and if you need to get some water, go do it now. Uh, you can look at this for now. You just taught me a lesson. It seems that kids lose their focus quickly, no matter their age. How she came to live the DMs. It's probably on this. farming sage Ooh. 
we get up on time, clean our rooms, and eat. Do you really think it's a good idea to turn to Zeno for help? We have drawn almost every man and woman from the mining facilities to get rid of the critters nesting around the port. Most of the defense team were injured. Some lightly, but others got much worse. It will be weeks before they can return to duty. If an attack like the one at the rehearsal happens again, I'm not sure we will be able to protect ourselves. <sighs> I know most of our people are frustrated with Zeno's arrival, but I expected better from you, Vila. People trust you, and they will follow you. But that doesn't make you right. Maybe you're still too young to see the dangers. I might be wrong, but history is a long lesson in learning what is right through being unafraid to be wrong. Sadly, we don't have time for a trial and error. And this? Is your excuse for making decisions for us against our will? I will hold myself responsible for my decisions. In that, you have my word. Today is the day of our welcome ceremony. Vila said when the bell rings, the important people from the Tortoise Academy will arrive. Everyone looks excited. Nina has put on her best dress. I know she'll be great on stage. Basono will do all with Piotr. It's his duty to protect the princess. As for me, I got a new job from Mr. Afghani. Salute, shake hands, and give them the warmest welcome. <sighs> what this? There are bubbles in the water. We meet again, Kikirn. Are you planting sunflowers under the water? <laughs> Have you brought your friends? Wearing needle grass 
and flak files on their legs. Are you also here for the ceremony? <laughs> Welcome, Kikirin and friends. Welcome to the prettiest town in all of the Arctic. The Yashki. Please enjoy our song. Comrade August, what are you doing? Whoa! Uh, I'm welcoming Vicky Kiern. He's perhaps too innocent. Get out of there, they're dangerous! Defense team, drive them away! Wait! These are Kikirn! They're not aggressive, they're just curious about us. The kids seem to like them. Get rid of them! As you command, comrade! Benefit from reading. This book or this book? Like a metaphor? To transcribe. than the Foundation's kids. I think it's good. Really good. Let me check on this. If so, it's bad. All right. Hope you didn't miss much. I think it's just stuff after the battle, right? Let me check. Yeah, it just sat right after the battle. It's not much. We can continue. The temperature here is rising this. much faster than expected, that. and much earlier in the season. I imagine if you asked the Weather Bureau, they would say this is just an odd occurrence of unseasonable weather outside of expected ranges. It's time. The Xeno investigators should be here any minute. I must stress again how important the ceremony could be for our future. Our town's economy is facing a cliff, and I am sure each one of you has noticed the increased rationing. If we wish to take care of our people in the future, 
and protect our friends and family from these frequent creature attacks. We need Xeno's support. So we will work with Xeno, because we must. The future of Ryashki is in our hands. So is the future of every comrade here. And we need the cooperation of every man and woman here. Xenos ships are very fast, so as soon as they appear on the horizon, our ceremony will begin. Understood! Understood. that Miss Vula would say they were absent. Do you think something bad happened to them? What are they doing there? Oh, something is falling. Light and soft, like a polar bear's head. Poor bear, losing all his hair. Hmm? It's snow! What? How can there be snow in summer? Hmm? Is this related to the strange thing Avgus said earlier? If so, I'm happy that these aren't stones or a dark cloud spit. Avgus! I can't believe it! You were never right before! Ugh. Oh, it's chilly. The snow is biting against my skin. I'm sorry, August. I shouldn't call you a liar. But will what I ask you really get into trouble? Piotr, we will not be defeated. Not by clouds or bears. Look. Mr. Tortoise is walking very slowly. But no one has left their position. For Ayashki. You little swans must go back to your lake too. Go as fast as you can. We will. Don't forget your own job, August. So, this milky white line is this snowstorm. The average temperature in the Ryashki has reached its highest point in the last five years, which together with the abnormally rich air moisture have produced an unseasonal and odd kind of snow. The weather forecast was wrong. Ley lines were right. Hmm? 
Everyone listen. Sorry about that. Our ceremony will begin. As, As you command, command comrade. comrade. Music, please. The people that can understand it can write what it said, but I can read this. Uh, time drifts away slowly. Friend, don't miss it, don't stop. Don't miss what doesn't stop. Yes, it. We regret what we lost yesterday, but better things are still ahead. How accurate is that? It's a pleasure to speak to you all, our valued friends in Ryashki. On behalf of Zeno Arms Academy, I am here to announce the details of the Zeno Ryashki Cooperation Agreement. As many of you have expected, a squad of armed troops will soon be sent to aid you with the critter problem. However, having given it careful consideration, we have decided that the town of Ryashki is no longer viable for our continued support and must be abandoned. We advise that all residents prepare to be transferred to a new post immediately. Thank you for your cooperation. What? what? Oh my god. The EP for this version, Villa can sing. Perhaps he's gonna sing. We're gonna have a Russian song. Good days, bad days. I don't see the point of your reluctance. The letter conveyed Zeno's decision clearly. I suggest we warm ourselves up with a few drinks before we go. Do you have any stolage in town? Better than sitting here dwelling on the things that cannot be changed. Uh, please, tell me you have something like uh, cocoa here? This is not what we agreed on earlier, Mr. Bertolt. Calm yourself, Villa. You must be mistaken, my very passionate friend. Sino sent a warning months ago. 
The estimated value Rayashi can add to Sino's program is less than satisfactory. Further support is no longer recommended. Should any new valuable resources be found in the region, please reply to this letter as soon as possible for further assessment. <gasps> then we heard back from Rayashki. In fact, the sender was... you, Evgeny. Yes, it was. And it was you yourself that argued the most compelling point, I have to say. One that has drawn the higher-ups' attention. And the reason why I was sent here. I believe you wrote, I have total faith in the quality of the people of Ryashki. Their solidarity, dedication, and motivation have proven invaluable to us. I am certain they would carry those same strengths of character and skill to any post, no matter where they were assigned. Zeno accepted my application. Of course, I asked around before making my submission, and Zeno seemed to have a good reputation. It was a golden opportunity to join them. It is, but do not get us wrong. Our entrance requirements can be most difficult to meet. Zeno only takes in the best of the best. You want some of us to work for Zeno? You never told us anything like that, Yevgeny! Be reasonable, Vila. Some of us deserve this opportunity. What about the others? We have elders and children. Some of our comrades have been injured and even died in the mine. Are we to forget their sacrifices? Relax, my friend. That's why we sent our very best biological control squad. We will escort you to the nearest shelter. Face reality, Vila. I know how much effort we have put into building this town, and I understand you have this dream to fulfill. But we must prepare for the worst. We may have to give up on our Rayashki. Read this. Field investigation has confirmed that the remaining runium reserves in Rayashki are around 0 0.0173 kilotons, which is less than 0.275% of our average annual output. The mine is located high within the Arctic Circle, which has entailed significant transportation costs. The harsh environment is also wholly unsuitable for building any permanent processing facilities. In addition, military spending on the region has recently been elevated 3.61 times due to increasing animal and critter attacks, and that number is still rising. Clearly, the region is now incapable of self-management. According to the Guide on Global Humanitarian Aid by the Office for Disaster Risk Reduction of Xeno Arms Academy, we propose to send a special squad to the region to evacuate all local citizens and subsequently take care of the remaining biological control issues. And our admission standards will be lowered at Zeno's discretion, so that you will all find work with us somewhere. They, they specifically made his face like that to be so punchable.
I'm sorry, but this is reality. From the start, this ore was the only thing they wanted from us. The environment here has always been harsh for mining, but we overcame it and sent our shipments to wherever Zeno had need of them. And I salute each one of you for your work, my friends. But now, our mission is over. I believe all of you will continue to work hard in your new positions, no matter what... You shouldn't rush to a decision. We are discussing Ryashki's future here, Yevgeny. For six decades, the people here have put in great efforts to turn the town into what it is today. We won't leave just because you tell us so. Our grandparents didn't even have construction equipment at the beginning. They built these houses with their own hands. We ship over the planting soil. We build walls to keep out the wind and snow. When you came here, you brought books for the children and introduced us to a species different than humans. You became one of us. I'm not happy about this either, Comrade Vila. I won't buy that, Comrade Evgeny. This is not just about my dream, but everyone's dream. Or have you forgotten what Ryashki was meant to be? A utopia built for and by everyone. The voice of a better future. One which would sound across the land and seas. I remember every word of it. You have my sympathy, friends. Sino has also suffered huge losses in many regions. We have lost manpower, territory, armament factories, and even some of our affiliated military schools. Ryashki is but one of these losses. We know how you feel right now. But Sino has his own problems to be faced. And investing in these new industries, purchasing fancy equipment, all these things Ryashki will need. All of this, this is takes money. The and moment. even Zeno must be economical. Shouldn't the people in Ryashki also benefit from these global benefits Zeno has promised? We will get there, my friend. Or just maybe slowly, the first one. but we will get there. Trust me, Zeno has done everything they can for you. We need to keep our eyes on our goals and stay on the right course so that we won't get lost in these turbulent times. Yes? I know how much faith these people have in you, and I believe you can show them a different perspective about these coming changes. Of course. This will also help you during Zeno's assessment. Good luck, my friend. Do this like delivering a terrible message, like a bad news with a big smile on his face. I think he just means that uh, the storm doesn't happen on the event stories, but in terms of like timelines, this is like in the 90s, so it's perhaps. Uh, before the first storm or after the first storm so, because it's so close to 1999 a paper mill
Yeah, Kane is success. The reserves of Runium first. running dry. Mm -hmm. The appearance of new critters. The sudden snowstorm. It's, it's literally they. They are just exist. They just exist. Otherwise, Burton. Hmm. I have connected the ley lines of each of these phenomena. The map is nearly complete. But still haven't traced many lines and marks back to their source. Perhaps if I go back to the factories, into the restricted zones. But I can't do that alone. Definitely not when the situation in town is so unstable. Well, I should have given this up long ago. There's no chance that the study of ley lines will ever be accepted again. Regretfully, Miss Winsong, with nothing but these outdated files and materials to back you up, there's simply no way to justify reinstating the study of ley lines into our curriculum. We don't have unlimited funds, and we must save our money for projects yes. with greater potential. The study of ley lines is... <laughs> Just to answer that, how are we in salmon to in the suitcase before the storm? Uh, if you remember... If you're here in the first stage, we we see that like Winsong, I think it's Winsong, is like telling a story. This is like in the past. It's confusing in this game, but it's like a flashback. This center event is a flashback, similar to 1.6. It's also a flashback. We see, uh, what's her name? I forgot her name. The redhead girl. The, the redhead girl. 1.1 1 .1 is also like an event that direct is direct on the end retelling. Like a lot of it is um, So they've been summoned after the first storm. Yeah, Yanise. She's like uh, reading a diary, her diary about the 1.6 event, which is what the event is about. And yeah, so this is the, all, all the things that happened here is a flashback. Of course, we might be able to consider new ideas and projects. You can't be allowed to do this on your own. You will need endorsements from the Institution of Geographic Studies, the Arcane Creature Society, or other uh, such organizations. Let me think. Zeno seems to be interested in geographers recently. They just recruited a number of researchers for a new commission. Maybe you should go try your luck with them. Submission date is getting closer each day, but I've made poor progress. Zeno won't endorse me if I can't find a breakthrough. They have become more and more radical and desperate lately. First they sent those researchers here to conduct their haphazard studies, and now an armed force? And all this effort just to chase the rumor of some source of perpetual energy? That this perpetual energy source must be hidden somewhere beneath the permafrost. The higher ups call the shots. All they need to do is put a little honey in the right places. Then all the little researchers will swarm on it like flies. But could there really be a magical power source like that? Whether there is or not, I still have a map to finish. 
There's no way that I can map every ley line in the region all by myself. <sighs> Goodbye, research funds. Goodbye, lectures and seminars and so long to my dreams of being chair of the Geographical Perspectives Forum. What was that? Miss Winsong, we've been waiting for you. We prepared a special medal ceremony for you in August. Please, come to our ceremony. <sighs> we just wanted to thank you for teaching us. Miss Villa was right. We shouldn't have been so quick to argue. We should have listened. So you should be given an award for being right. But our ceremony will not be as big as the ones on TV. Miss Winsong, will you accept this medal? I have no cup to put this medal in, so we can't toast with it in celebration. <sighs> but now I know, no matter what, I won't be returning empty-handed. Thank you, kids. Do you mean... are you leaving us? But there is so much you still need to teach us. Our Ayashki embraces every guest, including you, Miss Winsung. Don't you like it here? But those things I heard at the welcome ceremony... Won't we all be leaving soon? No. I don't believe it. That stranger was mean. He wasn't our friend. True. Hm. This is Arton. They can't speak for us. That's right. Miss Villa invited the men from Zeno to leave his ship. Then they went into Mr. Evgeny's meeting room together. Uncle Knut promised me that no one will give up this place. They will go to many meetings and find a... a solution that satisfies both sides. The tortoises move slowly. They need to keep their eyes open and look for a better answer. So, will you stay and teach us? I, I won't cause you any more trouble. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Comrade Calculator is speaking. Hello? 
I'm gonna calculate her. Are you giving the earthworms directions? Come right down from here. What's going on here? Ah, uh, my calibrator! The whale-like backbone. The diamond-shaped teeth, two short legs with dim eyes and an extremely sharp nose. That must be a kikituk. But their closest habitat should be Konkarl's land, hundreds of kilometers away. Their marks on the map appear to be red, sort of reddish-brown, and there's a large amount of light energy accumulated around them. Clearly, they're high on the food chain. Seems like the small fish have attracted more than one big fish. Kids, get behind me. From reading. Cheer up. The moment of silence. It could be found. The moment of utterance. Even that, it could be found. We walk in long nights. We share the same dream. A perfect argument to a brighter future. For everyone.
Природа — это числа и черты. So that seems to be their weak spot. Good job, little one. You're even more perceptive than I thought. <sighs> Next. working instruments I had. Don't be sad, Miss Wingsong. If we plant them in the soil, many more will come out when spring comes. <laughs> Thank you, August. Miss Winsong, can I be a lay hunter too? If we were as good as you are, maybe we could have protected your machine. And maybe we could protect our town. Kids. Lay hunting isn't a good profession. If you become a lay hunter, you will have to deal with doubt from all your peers, even hatred, and homework that piles up to your roof. Miss Vinsong, people in their Yashki are taught not to doubt or hate others. They would never hate you or us. Exactly. I'm happy that you let us show you around, Miss Vin Song. We haven't had many other visitors here since the critters started coming near the town. I met a blind lady once. She always smiles, and she has a pretty typewriter. Vila said she's a writer. The writer has been to many towns, and she fills up her papers with so much ink, just like I do. So, I made a drawing for her too. And she promised us that she will tell more people to come visit Rayashki. Will people from other places like it here? What about your other visitors? I remember they had green and red rectangular paper and some shiny cookies in their hands. They tried to trade us their silly paper so they could take our cans and things. They never wanted to work with their own hands. And Ryashki doesn't like lazy bones. Mr. 
is Vincent. Richard got all of us together last night, and we read for our How to Be a Good Tour Guide guide. So, we can guide you. Miss Wensong is just a bit strange. She's not lazy. This time, I want Borscht, Bean Shake, and Oladie. <clears throat> Let's not hurry on to our rewards, Avgus. We haven't helped Miss Vinson yet. Good to see out our little factory, Miss Winsong. <laughs> Hello, sir. The kids have told me that you want to learn more about the history of Ryashki and the strange things that have happened in the past, yes? <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. I do. But would that be going against any rules? Most certainly not, miss. We are not some stubborn old goats that dismiss people for asking questions. I just In fact, I'm relieved. That. It will be much easier to talk to you than that bitter fellow from Zeno. He came to the factory with his arm squad, took a quick look around, and left even without a polite farewell. Like a whiff of cold breeze, that one. These old, outdated machines, and hundreds of workers, young and old, each one a mouth to be fed. They are certainly not a pretty sight to the eyes of that greedy hyena. Pathetic, number-crunching Cretan. <laughs> I am starting to like you, miss. We would have much to talk about. Perhaps over a drink. If only I didn't have to get on with my work. You can see what's going on here, right? Don't feel sorry for us. Xena might no longer need this ore processing factory, but we can make use of what's left of it. Once we get rid of the critters, we can arrange for other minerals or materials to be shipped to Ryashki for processing. It is a shame we wasted so much of our good years, never preparing for these bad times. If those strange little monsters weren't there, we might be able to return to our minds. Oh, then we'd really be able to turn things around. About these mining sites... Mr. Knut, have you ever found anything there, other than runium ore? Hmm... Never. I know those sites like the back of my own hand. I've never seen any other minerals of any worth there. But give it some time, miss. We'll... Give me some time. Just a few months ago, back when Zina were still keen to work with us and not just ship us away, I remember they found some strange little pebbles. 
dark pebbles that were stuck in the clothes of those little monsters. Zeno soon sent out some troops and caught all the monsters. They didn't leave a single one behind. <sighs> we never heard about those pebbles again, nor have we found more of them in the mines. And you know the rest. Now we've exhausted the runium, and more and more strange-looking critters have appeared. So it's not safe to go back there. We left them completely deserted. Uh, please take a look at this, Mr. Knut. No, no, their clothes were thicker than a polar bear's. Ah, but these are closer. These monsters had much larger teeth. They almost look like old mining peaks. And no ears. Could they be some kind of Hoytuk? Yes, this one looked just like the creatures. If that's true, then it may be another big fish that has come here to feed. It is true. You can ask around. Many of the other workers have seen it. So, the color of a Hoytuk is bright yellow, and that matches with these bright yellow lines I've traced here on the map. They are burrowing animals, often living as deep as 50 meters underground, so if they were here, that must mean... that there must be some undiscovered resource here. Talk of undiscovered resources would be music to our ears, miss. Um, I don't want to get your hopes up. It's still too early to draw any conclusions. <laughs> Yet, the corner of your mouth is suggesting the opposite. I must be cautious before confirming there really is a new resource. Nonetheless, it's a silver lining. Thank you, Mr. Knut. Think nothing of it, miss. Maybe one day you and your research will return the favor. I will. If I can. I hope your work here can be resumed shortly. Don't worry about us. We will find a way to drive those critters away and start production once again. We have all our brothers and sisters with us, and these machines still run perfectly. As long as we continue to put in our best effort, there's no reason why things won't get better. <laughs> Is this exceptionally positive spirit common with the people here? Well, can't blame us for that. There are very few places in the world like Rayashki. Here... Everyone earns their food and their rest through working hard together. Then outside of work, ice hockey, learning courses, even music lessons. Not everyone is as lucky as us. That is why we won't let Ryashki die. With busy hands and open hearts, Ryashki will live on. It will grow stronger, glowing as brightly as these furnaces. I have to say... <laughs> But Ayashki is truly a curious place.
It has a spirit which I've never found elsewhere. Yes, perhaps that's what was missing from the study of ley lines in the past. Miss Winsong, would you like to meet Mr. Patrick? It's time to go to the canteen, boys and girls. Eat well, and you'll grow strong. Patrick knows how to feed you well. He's the best cook in town. But I would suggest you be careful with that one. If you don't want to get stuck with his endless chatter all night. I have never been to the canteen. I stayed out of that area in my previous... Um, visits to avoid unwanted trouble. <laughs> Forward to Comrade Blinche. That's correct, Stretchy, miss. I look forward to hearing good news from you. Let's go and wish you a good hope. So. This is our canteen. We play hide and seek here when we're hungry. Comrade Stu and Potato Piroshki are always the easiest to find. They're not very clever at hiding. But Comrade Blinchit is very good at the game. He can only be found at dinners on Friday. Hmm. We have good food, like mashed potatoes and boiled potatoes and potato stew. Mr. Patrick said a good cook can turn even simple ingredients into delicious food. The grown-ups are so kind to us. Sometimes they give us their cheese and salad, so they only have potatoes to eat. Don't cry, Nina. Remember when you shared your Olenka with everyone? When we grow up, it'll be our turn to help the grown-ups with their potatoes. We also have the Thin Hat Festival, when they give us metal hats with food in them. Huh? It's called the Workers' Festival. We have it every month. Everyone must sit in a circle in the canteen and sing songs. And Miss Villa plays the accordion for us. We each get a can of food in it. Sometimes it's a shonka, sometimes it's salad, sometimes sprouts. Yes, and after the Teen Hat Festival, we would bury our teen hats in the ground. Yellow ones, red ones, and white ones. Then tiny trees will come out from them next year. I have told you many times, they are not tin seeds, and they don't grow into trees. They are just tin cans. We only bury them so they won't pollute the snow. Piles of tin cans. Food. Those empty cans you mentioned, did you store them here? Oh, I know this place. That's where the adults dug a big hole. They put some things inside. 
It's covered up with rocks and ice now. Yes, Basono is right. That's where the grown-ups put all our old metal after they make them into little cubes. Miss Vila said it helps keep our town and the whole region clean. Why? What's wrong with that place? <gasps> I'm thrilled. There must be lots of big fish left to be found around there. If I can write a report and provide a practical plan, maybe I can get Z... I mean, I could request reinforcements. Yay! School trip! School trip! This is no trip, children. I'm not going there for a hike. You must stay in town and be good. That goes for every one of you. Understood? That guy again. Why is this now? Shh. Quiet, kids! Attention, please. Tomorrow at 8 in the morning, we will be holding our final hearing. In this meeting, we hope to finalize our next steps and answer any remaining questions. We look forward to seeing you there. What's this? Are you planning on getting a job with Zeno too? Huh? It says here you've been staying in this town for months, but it seems you're not on our list for potential recruitment from Ryashki. I should remind you, for you researchers, what you produce tells much more about you than your efforts. That's precisely why I'm here. Go on. Based on the recent investigations, I'm confident that there is a new energy source in the area that has yet to be discovered. Hmm. And that's it? We already believed there was something here when we sent you out in the first place. You were sent here to find it. Instead, all you do is confirm what we already knew. But you said that perpetual energy was just a myth, didn't you? Uh, of course it wasn't just a myth, lady. Why else would we ask you to investigate here in the first place? Do you have anything else to report? Uh, no, but I do need your help. I will need an armed squad to come with me to the mining sites so that I can continue my investigations into this subject. I'm afraid I don't know how long it will take. It also depends on the number of soldiers you can spare for the task. Uh... <laughs> You have a terrible sense of humor. I'm not being funny. You want more research on the new resource too, don't you? Miss Vinsong, do you really think this is even a remotely reasonable request? 
critters are running rampant in the area, and you demand help to verify what is, as far as I can see, a highly questionable conclusion. Why should I waste Zeno's time and resources on this? Not to mention, putting the lives of our soldiers at risk. If you have doubts, please take a look at these files. And let me guess. You learned all this from your study of ley lines? I... To date, the theory of ley lines has neither been approved by the Arcane Study Review Association, nor accepted by the Project Assessment of Human Science and Technology. It has zero academic achievements, zero endorsements, and aside from the questionable example in front of me, zero researchers. That's all only a temporary setback. Ms. Vinsong, I sympathize with the awkward situation I have put you in. However, Zeno simply cannot afford to waste resources on a proposal without any solid evidence. I will give you something. All I need is a bit of help up front, I promise. Did you not come here to deal with these critters? Then what's the fuss about? Can't you deal with them while accompanying me to these mining sites as well? I'm afraid you've got our intentions altogether wrong. Sino is here for one thing only. A source of perpetual energy. This is what you have been tasked to find. With the resources you were given. We won't approve any further requests until you have a solid lead. We aren't paying you for a charity mission. So, then you never planned on controlling the critters here. The squad you brought here was to... control the town? A force sufficient to deal with the critters would have attracted unwanted attention from our rivals. It is not in our interests to share this town or its resources. I'm sure you can see that. So even if we do find the resource for you, you won't leave this town or its people alone. We're talking about the ultimate energy source of Arcanum. Do you think we will just walk away and leave it to be squandered by a bunch of ignorant peasants and miners? You should be ashamed of yourself. What we are going to do with Ryashki should be of no concern to you. We have made every arrangement for them. We aren't monsters. Before the final decision is made, we will continue to help the locals as much as we can. Including you. You seem surprised. Isn't it what you have always wanted? With Zeno's endorsement, you will be able to teach your program in any university. <sighs> we have prepared this gesture of our good faith in you. Now, it's your turn to show yours. Forget about an armed squad. They have more important things to do. You're on your own, my friend. But prove to us that you can do this job and bring us the best answer you can give. And this piece of paper will be yours when you complete your mission. I understand. 
See that you do. Good luck out there, Miss Winsong. He was just trying to get me out of his office. He threw a carrot out of the window and I chased right after it like a blinded mule. Still. Maybe this carrot is too good to let go. Hmm. Focus. Once I fill the gaps in my data, I will be able to pitch it to Zeno, and all subsequent research won't be a problem anymore. The primary food sources for Hoytuk are raw minerals underground. Those processed metals only keep them from starving to death. They wouldn't have gone across any icy ocean just to gnaw on old equipment and trash. All I need to do is find a trace of their activities so that I can learn about their current conditions, and from there, locate their other food sources. <sighs> Stay calm. Hoytuk are gentle creatures. They rarely attack humans. I just need to be cautious. <sighs> All right. Change of direction. If you are wondering, like, this just says explicit language. If I were to look down instead of looking forward. Maybe I should scan the area and follow where the lay energy is leading, just like I did at Silbury Hill. <laughs> of course, I hope the outcome will be different this time. <sighs> Before all that, I need to clear out this place. Priroda at the Chisla y Certe. Природа это мозаика цветов. Shoot. Now I've done it. Those vestigial digging teeth, the three fingers long tearing teeth, these are not Hoytuk. These scaled wings must be for swimming. Then you must be... Mutant Kikituk from the Olga area. <gasps> you should be at the Olga Street hunting for migrating salmon and whales, not here. I will remember your sacrifice. The moment of silence. The moment of utterance. Heart scale. <laughs> Learn from silence. Don't worry.
We share the same dream. We share the same it dream. Found. To a brighter future for everyone. Yeah, the battle team is Edible. so good. <laughs> But what does it mean to us? I mean, what does... Why would you come here? What inspired you to trek across the ocean just to hunt for humans? Damn it! It seems while their claws and teeth have degraded, their reflex is much quicker than a Hoytuk's. They perceived my approach even though I used my ley line reader as a dampener. Evgeny, the kids told me about a can pile. Is it nearby? Can pile? They must be talking about our waste metal. I'm afraid it's gone, Miss Winsong. Maybe animals dug it all out, or maybe those little monsters ate it. Do you know if that happened before or after the Runian mines ran dry? I'm not sure. You shouldn't be here. There's nothing of value to find in this place. And you're not supposed to be using this arcane equipment here either. We have a better way to deal with these fierce little monsters. What you're doing... We'll just attract more of them. You can drive away the Kikitooks? Not anymore. We don't have much left to fight them off with. Zeno didn't bring any equipment for our team, let alone any weapons. Go. Leave before it's too late. What if I don't want to just give up? I've seen your residence application. You say you are a researcher. Then you should be clever enough not to go down a fruitless and dangerous path. I admit that what I am doing here is reckless. And maybe I'm just motivated by my own selfish interests. But I can't just walk away from my commitments. You have lived in Ryashki for a long time. You know what commitment means here much better than I do. I won't give it up so easily. Just like the people here won't give away their land like nothing. It's stubbornness. That's all. They should have gone to other places and put their talents to good use, rather than staying here to fight for nothing. Is that why you gave away the town so easily to Zeno? Do you really even know your neighbors? 
I have lived and worked together with them for decades. Don't be ridiculous. I just... I agree with Zeno's perspective. I've been to many places, and I have encountered many people like you. Stuck-up leader types. Making decisions on behalf of other people because it's what's good for them. And they should listen, just as you should now. It's my responsibility to protect everyone, to do right by them. I will make them see it tomorrow at the hearing. <sighs> Alright, I'll give the membership some. Huh? No, you guys are. It's the same dudes. <laughs> Have five more. And I'm gonna continue. It's random, sadly. You can't choose it. I recognize some of them. Like <laughs> Sometimes the things, the ones that have been gifted, isn't even on the stream, but like they watch other stuff. <clears throat> it's not people like of Rayashki, my I dear think. friends, good day to you all. I think on Twitch, like, it prioritizes the ones that are watching currently. But on YouTube, it's all random. Over the past two days, Sino has assessed the potential risks and benefits in the area and held hearings on what should be done about the future of this town. Our hearing saw very limited attendance. We've taken that to be a gesture of approval. Mr. Evgeny has put in a great effort helping to make these changes happen. We all owe him a great deal. Thank you, sir. I'm hearing a cat in my... There's a cat in my room. What? Please believe that we have made the best decision we could for you. We all know the Runium here has run dry. And the land has been exhausted of all further material wealth. Now and into the foreseeable future. As a result, your local processing factory has lost its intended purpose. What's more, Sino has changed our cooperation strategy. Though your town's loyalty will never be forgotten, we must have a sober-minded view of its costs and benefits. There's a cat in my window. It's climbing the window. What's happening?
It's just there. It's not really climbing it. It's almost done climbing it. It's like... To sum up, our final decision is that we will be ending operations and all future cooperation between Sino and Ryashki. Well, Mr. Birtul, you have just got here. Perhaps you didn't have enough time to get to know us well enough. Ryashki's value is not just in Arunium. We have many other factories, too. Yes, you have a brick factory, a power plant, many forklifts, a smattering of conveyor belts. But all these were all built and suited for only the processing of runium ore. Without the ore, they simply have no benefit to us. Now that you have full knowledge of the situation and our intentions, we want to assure you that your loyalty has not been forgotten. So we have generously prepared two choices for the future of Ryashki. Firstly, Sino believes that you have many valuable qualities. The determination and skills you've shown in the past year of our cooperation have proved that your people can be a great asset to us. Indeed, many of you already meet the entrance requirements to join Zeno. Therefore, on behalf of Zeno Arms Academy, I wish to extend a heartfelt invitation to you. Leave Ryashki, join us, and work for one of our other branches as members of Zeno. What are you saying? You want us to abandon our home for some promise of a job? Calm down, Mr. Knut. This is not about abandoning your home. It's about joining us in our efforts to contribute to world peace through a more optimized allocation of manpower. So you're just going to pack us all up and ship us away to work for Zeno? You misunderstand, madam. Every year, Sino dismisses 4% of our employees because they failed to pass our rigorous work reviews. And the number of our colleagues that are killed in the line of duty is even larger still. Working for Sino is a privilege, not a gift. That's why only a small number of you will be allowed to come and work for us. What? Now, according to Article 58 in the section on protection of Arcanist rights signed at the Event Horizon Convention, we, we provide basic supplies for any residents who haven't been offered a position with Zeno. They will be transferred immediately to the nearest relief station until our social workers contact them for further arrangements. So then... You're suggesting you will send our children and elderly away to some kind of refugee station. And the rest of us must go to work for Zena without any questions? Pridurak! This is total rubbish! Sir, please lower your voice. Well... You would be glad to know that your work experience in particular is valuable to Sino, Mr. Knut. If you're not interested in our first plan, we have another. If the residents in the area prove reluctant to relocate. Sino can offer another alternative. 
As stated earlier, Rayashki is a remote town that possesses some significant industrial infrastructure. Therefore, it could be considered an ideal location for a new complex of arms factories. <sighs> there would be a need to substantially upgrade the Rayashki Wharf to turn it into one of the seaports Sino plans to build across the globe. Additionally, a radio station will be constructed within the town, which will better facilitate our communication throughout the Arctic region so as to stabilize and coordinate with the other powers in the area. We will now be passing out forms, listing the options I've presented. Please fill them in with your choice. So your only other option is to turn Rayashki into some kind of military base under Zeno's control? I won't put it so bluntly, but you're not incorrect. Our resources, as much as anyone's, are limited, and they must be put to good use. We cannot afford to waste them on strategically useless, costly people and places. If you want Zeno to help you, you should be able to give us something in return. Don't you agree? Doesn't even hide it. So, Yevgeny, this is the best choice you made for all of us? <clears throat> I must speak in Mr. Evgeny's defense. He is committed to his duty and only wishes to do what he can for his compatriots. Shameless! All you've done is sold us out! You tell them, Knut! Do you think it's getting a bit windy lately? Clearly, with all the hot air in Evgeny's head, his mind has been blown away! I swear to you, I'm not doing this out of my own interest. Comrades, there are many better places in this world, and you have better purposes to fulfill. You shouldn't waste your time here. Let's all calm down, my friends. It's time to be reasonable. Think carefully. Sino has been very generous regarding the offers before you. Generous? Now that's ridiculous. We won't let you take away our family and friends, nor we are about to let you turn our town into a puppet state. We will stay here. No matter what. Comrades, I understand how you feel right now. But we must face the cruel reality of our situation. And you're willing to send away our own people or give up on all we've built here because of this so called reality? It is the only way forward. If we continue to stay here without any help, it will be the end of us either way. Do we have to turn to Zeno for this help? The truth is, just as Ryashki's economy has been dependent on Runian, we remain dependent on Zeno. Without them, at the present rate of consumption, we will be out of supplies and materials within a year. <sighs> the situation looks bad. Zeno is determined to gain control over this place. I 
complete the task as Zeno requested, does it mean? I will shatter their dream? And what about my dream? Did the people who refused to acknowledge the study of ley lines act out of the same self-interest? I've seen this happen so many times before. A simple dream is made to face a cruel reality. Where the clever ones give up and leave. And the stubborn fools remain, waiting to be crushed. We asked for our misery. But I am, Miss Vila. <sighs> Sir, with all due respect, I can't complete this task alone. As any ordinary researcher, I can relate to them. Please, forgive me for interrupting. I have heard so much about Ryashki these days. They started from nothing, but bit by bit they accomplished the impossible. Their voice should be heard. Priroda et the chisle icerte. We can't hold them any longer. We fighting them now? The school. With you. Wait, yeah. This is a Is lit. To read. Victory secured. I should excuse myself. Slow effort. Now. Will you listen to me? We don't need your help. Your soldiers and your tyranny are no longer welcome here. <laughs> Comrades, what do you say? 
Shall we solve the problem with the strength of our own hands and hearts? Is that? I don't know. Yeah, that. Can... <laughs> that can... I don't know if that's. What else can we do? This is what we've always yeah, done sounds, when there was a problem. Sound right. okay. uh, there will be more solutions think. than problems if we work together. Yeah, I don't know if that's the If I must die, I will sound. die here with all of you. It's... Just stop talking nonsense, you idiot! Nobody is going to die. Rayashki belongs to all of us. We will stand with it till its last moment. We'll see after this. Alright, this up. But the, the music also has the buzzing. Then we no. They might say they're just ordinary people. I think that's. But they are so brave. And... Let's see. I think that's something. It's. I have the. So the stream is getting like the direct audio from the. Uh. Game. So it's not any of my audio devices that is causing that this just something weird in the game itself yeah this is fine if it buzzes again then it must be from the game itself just oh miss burton i suggest we spend more time together like this it affects both uh this is it, right? Now, will you listen to me? We don't need your help. Your That's soldiers and your tyranny are no longer welcome here. That's fixed it. <laughs> Comrades, what do you say? Shall we solve the problem with the strength of our own hands and hearts? What else can we do? This is what we've always done when there was a problem. There will be more solutions than problems if we work together. If I must die, I will die here with all of you. Stop talking nonsense, you idiot! Nobody is going to die! Rayashki belongs to all of us! We will stand with it till its last moment! Hey, they're just ordinary people, but they are so brave and noble. I really thought the buzzing sound is like just on my headphones, but. You guys started saying that you hear that. There it is again. What the hell is that? We get up on time, clean our rooms. I'll restart the emulator. Maybe it's the emulator. Uh, I'll just do this.
I'll, rest I'll restart the emulator so maybe that fixed it Oh, Miss Vertin, I suggest we spend more time together like this, to share more ideas and philosophy. The cold water doesn't bother Rusalki. So when I saw that girl in the lake, her face had turned blue as ice. Poor kid. Let me see. I don't know if what devil medicine fuck at my medicine. It's just level 5, never mind. Yes, we always feel most at home in the world. Well, we don't hear the buzzing again. Chasing after a carrot on a stick. They lured me here all so I could help ruin everything. <laughs> you seem to be in a good mood. Huh? We taught Zeno a lesson. They were forced to live with their devil's bargains and tales stuck behind them. We fought back, finally. A nice little trick that was. Thank you, Comrade Winsong. We all know who the mysterious hero was that gave us a helping hand. I... I didn't do anything. It's no shame to have helped your friends, not to mention to stand up to Zeno. Have more confidence in yourself, Comrade Winsong. But will you really gain anything from this fight? Not sure. But we have to do something, right? That's why I'm here. To talk to me? I don't know why, but Miss Vila 
you must have thought too much of me. In fact, I'm only a simple researcher. I'm not powerful enough to change Zeno's decision. You are the one thinking too much, Comrade Winsong. Your ley line lessons were much more popular than you think. They have had a positive effect on the children. Now they are looking at the bigger picture and observing the world in a more detailed way. You've unleashed their curiosity. Is the aurora the bubble spit out by the stars? They form such a beautiful map. Do they study ley lines too? But it remains the case that the study of ley lines has never been verified. For all its ambitions, only a limited number of people studied it in the past decades, and that number is decreasing even now. Hmm? <sighs> what you're looking at is not some skin problem. But my past. My past is a Rusalka. Rusalka? You mean the mermaid from folklore? My people used to live in a far secluded place in the north, away from the humans. For hundreds of years there was only hostility, plunder and slaughter between us and them. We only started to learn more about each other in the last few decades, and then, I was born. It's been a hard life growing up within human society, but I've become used to it. Still, some things never got easier. Most humans still thought I was a freak. They welcomed me with mocking, sarcasm and contempt for my people, my heritage. As for the Rusalki, they too found the half-blooded mermaid unacceptable. They didn't approve of my living among the humans, forcing me to live as a fugitive in Moscow and St. Petersburg. They tried to catch me by every means possible, so they could wash away the stain they saw in me. That sounds... very difficult. Humans have stigmatized and haunted the Rusalki for centuries, while Rusalki still have the instinct to attack and plunder human ships even now. How are they supposed to make peace in such little time? That was what I thought years ago. Then I came to this town. A wonderful world where humans and Rusalki could live in peace. I was finally convinced. In Rayashki, everyone can make contributions with their skills, whether you are a human, a Rusalka, or a leyline researcher. I don't mean to give you more stress or push you. You will always be our friend. Whatever your choice is. But this is not an unreachable dream. It's real. The editor of the environmental research agreed to publish our report, finally! But he only gave us 5,000 words. On the last few pages. Undoubtedly, it's still a good start. 
Our first step to reviving the study of ley lines. I mean, doing the little bit of fish. If you, if you remember, did you know, before you. That's it, I give up. Maybe I'll study something else, like urban planning or landscape design. At least I can make a living that way. The study of ley lines is outdated. Everyone agrees now that it can't be verified by science. This whole study was a dead end. Ley lines are only... A baseless theory of Arcanum. I tried talking about our study of ley lines with other Arcanists, but almost no one has ever heard of it. They are more interested in Laplace's breakthroughs. Or anecdotes in their own fields like the chaotic energy sampling mentioned in the paper written by the Butterfly of Lorenz. So, maybe it is an unreachable dream? I could help, but it would take a lot of resources to verify the theory behind ley lines. There may be even danger and sacrifice. Even Zeno has paid little attention to my research. They only see it as a means to an end. Researchers in other fields can stand on the shoulders of giants, while I... I don't even have a school to return to. I doubt that the study of ley lines will help you much. I see. Well, thank you for your honesty, Comrade Winsong. I'm sorry. Let's go to stage. До встречи, Фила. Life must continue, comrade. We can't let our worries stop us. Okay. Class is over. Thank goodness I still remembered the basic premises of ley lines in biology. Feel free to ask me any questions. Oh, cheer up, little ones. There won't be any exams for this subject. Uh, 
Um... Miss Winsong, are you going to dig up those potatoes alone again? Is there anything we can do to help you? Miss Vila said we will work together to beat the critters out there. That we will find their weakness as long as we finish the map with you. Just like how you taught us to. Kikirn are not dangerous at all. They're plant-eating critters and pose little threat to humans. I have ropes, flowers, and white gloves. We will dig up a lot of potatoes together. Piyota is strong. He can move any rocks that are in our way. Nina can prepare a kettle of warm water for everyone. And... I'm sorry, little ones. I wish I could verify all the theories we've been working on, but... <sighs> As you can see, a critical part is missing. It might take months to finish it. Besides, there may be even more dangerous critters in that area. Then the town will become the witch's new castle. Or perhaps an empty castle. Quiet. Children? Wipe your tears and cheer up. Our Ayashki will stand strong. Really? But what are you going to do? Vila. I hope you aren't seriously considering Zeno's... Of course not. They might try, but we will never give in. No matter what, for now, we must find a way to protect our town. We will need a shelter from these creatures. We've all decided to stay. Look outside, children. Each and every one of us is doing what we can to hold our town together. A newt factory is spitting out puffy bubbles? <laughs> the workers are going to transform the abandoned factories into something useful. They're cleaning the ore and debris there. Not an easy job. After that, we will start new production lines and cooperate with the surrounding cities. We will grow potatoes, breed fish, and make canned food. We will find our strength together. Are we putting makeup on the factories? We can paint their faces and put beautiful garlands on them. Hmm? So what is Mr. Patrick doing? Everyone's waiting in line. I'm sorry, August. I think we will have to live without our tin hats and comrade Blinchik for a long time. They are signing on to a reform of our rationing. To transform our factories, we need to cut down the budget for the canteen. Oh, thank you for your sacrifice, comrade Blinchik. You deserve a medal and some chocolate. Look, the bulldozers are tearing down those houses. Yes. We all agreed to exchange some of our living space for more land to grow food. The 
price is much higher than it first seemed. I is it worth it? Of course. You cannot find what we have here in Zinu's barracks or in the relief camp. You can't find it anywhere in the world. Think about the old comrades and the babies. They're the past and the future of Rayashki. How could we leave them behind or subject them to Zinu's whims? shall ever be abandoned in Rayashki. I think people out there would be envious if they saw what you are doing here. We really aren't doing anything so special. We're only doing our job, our duty to one another. There are lots of conflicts out there. Conflicts like the one between humans and Rusalki. Like the ones that mocked the study of ley lines and dissolved our school. They did so simply because it might take from their funds or steal their glory. Everyone forever building walls just to keep separated from each other. Hoarding whatever they could get their hands on. Then they blame the aftermath, the harm they do to others on cruel realities. <sighs> cruel reality. It seems to be everyone's mortal enemy. The cause of all suffering, war, greed. The perfect excuse to never care. But things are different in Rayashki. They took me in unconditionally when I came here. And they stayed friendly for a week, a month, a year, and even now. So naturally, it became my dream too. Everyone here shares a beautiful dream. A dream that we can work and enjoy life together. That someday, there will be no more conflicts between people or worries about tomorrow. That everyone will be able to work to achieve their passions, whatever field they wish to pursue. A utopia. It's not just a way of life for now, but the future we're always trying to reach. I've spread the study of ley lines in Rayashki, along with its potential. showed great interest. The study tells us about the secrets that could lie beneath the earth after all. Perhaps it will bring hope to Rayashki. But... I'm not one of you. You taught the children something new, and you helped us explore our town's potential. Didn't you? Everyone here is more than happy to help you. You know, Comrade Knut has been boasting about the assistance he was able to provide for your studies. And many others are envious. They want to help you too. More importantly, you already have a group of curious students here willing to study your theory. <sighs> now, allow me to ask you again, Comrade Winsong. Would you hold a lecture on ley lines for all the citizens of Rayashki? Even though my research doesn't have any endorsements or achievements? Of course. Perhaps we can be the first to endorse it, after your lecture. You're being far too obvious in your recruitment tactics. The world is not a beautiful place. Poverty, privilege, egoism, exclusivism, so many problems. But that doesn't mean it can't get better in the future. Perhaps the experiment we're doing in Rayashki now will become the symbol of a better future. A new world where all races and ideas can coexist. 
Well, of course it may fail and end up a ruin. But at least we've tried. <sighs> we love our home and we're ready to devote our lives to it. I can't shake the feeling you're inviting me aboard a leaky boat that could sink at any moment. Maybe, Comrade Winsong. But should we sink, remember your friend is a Rusalka and we do well underwater. <laughs> what an honor. So long, Cena. Today, I'm going to introduce the study of ley lines and the progress of my research on the Ryashki. Thanks to your help, I have finished a drafts of the town's ley energy map, and I have confirmed the presence of many precious resources. Through these colorful lines? These lines and spots show us the state of local lay energy. Each color represents a different concentration of creatures or minerals. Simply put, this area covered in frozen earth and frost contains many rich resource veins. These gray marks symbolize them. They are located in most of the corners of the map, all of them outside of town. Oh, maybe that's why Grandpa said we couldn't grow anything here in the beginning. They eventually solved that problem by importing rich black topsoil for our fields. As for the runium you've mined to make a living, look at the dark gray marks. According to the map, they are becoming increasingly scattered and faint, so it can be hard to see them. Ah. <sighs> Besides resources, we can also find concentrations of different creatures using the map. The navy blue marks represent the Kikirn, while the aqua green ones represent the mutant Kikirn from the wharf. They feed on plants, and you can find their traces in many corners of the town. The red-brown marks are the Kikituks, an aggressive species. They're vicious by nature and prey on just about anything arcane they can find. Even other creatures. I feel as though my head is going to explode from all this new information. Can you explain a little simpler for this old workhorse, Comrade Winson? Of course. This sample comes from a Kikituk in the mine. I took it with Mr. Yevgeny's help. <sighs> Seems like just a normal piece of fluff, no matter how I look at it. Yes, and in most people's eyes, it's nothing more than that. But in a lay hunter's eyes, it reveals a great deal of information. Uh, 
The navy blue marks and the red-brown ones seem to mix together, and there are also dark gray ones popping out among them. So, it looks like our Mr. Kikituk ate well. <laughs> Perhaps he had a kikien soup with a runium-flavored kefir. <laughs> looks like these critters have realized our dream long before we could. But what about those black marks? If my memory serves me right, the map you just showed us had those black marks too. Yes, but they don't match any creature or resource we know. I believe it represents a new kind of resource. Oh, well, where is it then? We can only find the answer in this area here. You mean in the depths of the mine? The lay energy is emanating from there. Afterwards, it flows throughout the food chain, passing through all kinds of creatures and materials before eventually returning to its source. Then our new resource is probably somewhere there. So we need to find it. Then we won't have to put up with Zeno anymore. But, do you have any other proof? Of course. Remember the critter you found in the mine, Mr. Knut? Yes. You said it was called, um, Hoi, Hoi Tu. Hoi Tuk, a subspecies of Kiki Tuk. They live underground and feed on minerals. That was around the time we had begun to run out of Runium. Is that so? But they were still there. Perhaps even more active than usual. That could only mean they were attracted by some other mineral or energy source, right? And... Even though I didn't find any further Hoytooks during my research, I did find the Olga mutants, one of their close relatives. Since they are social creatures, my discovery must prove the presence of some of these Hoytooks, even if we cannot find them yet. <clears throat> but in the end, this is all just conjecture. Are we really going to waste all our time and money on your assumptions? Or can you prove it's something more than conjecture? I would call it a preliminary conclusion. But could it be endorsed by any authorities or proven theories? So far, no. So then it is little more than a fairy tale. Am I right? I admit, it's a gamble. It's never easy to dig, you know. And Zeno has already withdrawn all their own equipment. All we have left in Ryashki are some outdated machines. Besides, Miss Winsong mentioned the critters. Maybe their presence there is some kind of proof, but they are themselves a danger. It is obvious that there will be many more critters there than near the town. And you would have us waste time, perhaps even sacrifice our comrades, to pursue what could just be a fairy tale?
There is no doubt the cost is simply too high. Who would be foolish enough to dig some holes in the wild just to see if there are critter bones in there? <laughs> the answer is very clear. We don't need new kind of geography meets with our king. Let's save everybody some trouble. Conclusion, the application for project ley line should be rejected. Agreed. I... <laughs> Even cranks can apply for research funds nowadays. Keep moving, Comrade Winson. Keep moving. The people of Rayashki don't back down in the face of their problems. <sighs> Whatever it is, we can fix it together, right? <sighs> I approve of Comrade Winson's proposal. Me That's right. This is not a gamble or a fairy tale. Here's a ley line simulator. It can simulate the creatures on the ley energy map so we can do further analysis. Is it able to simulate the critters too? Certainly. Simulating critters is lesson one in the Blay Line textbook. We can use the simulation to carry out targeted training against the critters. Looks like the study of Blay Lines is more organized than I thought. Congratulations, Comrade Winsong. You will have the manpower you need. It's on, comrade. We can't wait. It's like digging the mine all over again. That was the biggest achievement of my life. Let's do this, comrades. Digging like this is no easy work. That was one powerful blow. <laughs> I
I think we can draw our conclusions now. Everyone, we have to admit, this is going to be a risky operation, but it's also our last chance. To protect our land and our people, we must explore the mine. There will be danger. Yes, some of us may get hurt, but we may also find this new resource and save our Ryashki. For you, for me, for everyone. We can already expect that critters have occupied the mine. We'll just have to work together to drive them away. We dug this mine with our own machines once, and we'll do it again. This is how we've made it so far. However old they are now, they will always be our children, right? You're good at the assembly, huh? Nikita, you're gonna be busy with the engines. Valeria, we need you for this cruise. Future truths. Miss Vila, they've been doing strange things. Father took out a lot of old books, and he spends most of his time looking over his blueprints now. He said they will be the key to saving the town. Shame I can't read those books or help with anything. My dad was acting strange too. He started fiddling with the bottles from under his bed again. But mom didn't scold him this time. She even took out some of her treasures from the cabinet. Reindeer horn, noisy birch sap, golden teeth seal whiskers. Dad said his potions would keep everyone energetic for a whole day. Even Mr. Miser took out his wand from the safe box. <laughs> Move. Kids. Good luck, Comrade Vila. Mr. Patrick, are you doing strange things too? Use and maintain model E050 operation manual of model circa 1562. These dusty books, they look older than me. <laughs> These old friends are our textbooks. Do adults take exams too? We're doing something far more important than exams, kids. We haven't used these old fellas since Zeno brought the new ones. Most of our comrades don't know how to operate them. Now is the time to put them back into use. Comrade Knut has been teaching us how to use these outdated technologies. That's right. 
all the adults have been divided into many groups. Knut is leader of the engineering group, and Pasono's uncle is in the investigation group, while Nina's father has joined the potion group. All of them take part in the creator combat training at dusk every day, and we share our combat experience with each other. And everyone is working hard to explore the mine. We will be able to live on our own without Zeno! Miss Vila, I want the town to be proud of me too! Is there anything that we can do? I have lots of metal toy trains. Can we make components out of them? They can spin and whistle like a minecart. That's a great idea! I'm sure it will inspire everyone. No, let them use mine first! Calm down, children. I know you want to do your bit. But our future needs you. Now your job is to study hard, so Rayashki can rely on you in the future. Understand? We can't find him. He'll be so sad if he doesn't get to have a job, too. <laughs> Don't worry, Nina. He is helping the town in his own way. It's only been a few months. Can't believe the monsters have already occupied the whole place. Well, not a problem as long as we got our mischievous little comrade. He always knows exactly where they will come out. Things wouldn't have gone nearly as smoothly without him. I would never have believed he could do this if Comrade Winsong hadn't endorsed him. Never underestimate any of our comrades, big or small. Do I need to repeat that again? Well done, August. You protected everyone. Protected? But I was just teaching our monster friends how to dance right. <sighs> they are slow learners. Yes, that's what we want you to do. A performance with the Kikitooks. Your job is to tell which critter, um, I mean, which friend is dancing wrong. That's your talent, isn't it? Just like you showed us before? What if they dance right? Um... Then they deserve some Alenka chocolate, don't they? Comrade Surgi, our new friend is right beside your boots. I think he is hoping to kiss them. Will you dance with him? What? Watch out! Join with us, comrades! I 
will remember your sacrifice. It could be so. Isn't that? Keep up the pace. Uh huh. Are you a rational member? The moment of utterance. Could be found, even that. We walk in long nights. Oh, it's a bubble. Victory secured. I should excuse myself. Back off! There are many more critters than we can deal with here. Many of us are injured. We must retreat. We made the decision to come here together, Comrade Evgeny. We are so close to the depths. We must not give up now. All right. I know everyone's wounded. But look how far we've gone. It's been worth it, don't you think? This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Don't be, Comrade Winsome. You've given us a workable plan and helped us recognize our little comrade's potential. No? He's only a child. He's one of us, Comrade Evgeny. I will keep him safe. We aren't just digging a mine now. If we manage to find this resource, no one will have to leave. And we can continue to live together, right? are nothing compared to the glory of our future. Again, I think this is a foolish idea. Story begins with an echoing song in the air, in the working area. Yes, it's a new day. Is this is this is this similar to uh, Green Lake stuff? Oh, it's, it's this.
This is just example. Yeah. I have to do this. I have to do this. It's just the event stuff. That bad. See this down citizen? Down citizen one. We have to show what we found some to our comrades. I dare use I dare use my I dare to use my experience as a miner to guarantee that this can still be used maybe some rune was added to it to make it look new in short when the steel is in, steel is in short supply it's better to find more still. Comrade Villa with the children. Comrade Villa is probably with the children. And she will not allow them to miss their lessons. Maybe the comrades working in the, ad in the abandoned mind have returned. I think we should take the shortcut to the hotel and let Comrade Vigini Okay, I forgot their names but it's one of them I don't know how to pronounce that in reality in how in your expression Come and have a look Okay, I'll listen to you. Hey, look. Are are those from are those guys from Cena? Those working in front, those walking in the front of the hotel. Shh, keep it down. I think that. We are talking about the others behind their backs. I see it. It looks very similar. Isn't Comrade Eugenie negotiating with Cena? Must be looking for him. Oh, I think this is the conversation between the other guy and the guy from Zena. They left, it seems Comrade Eugenie is not here. We have to come in later. Then tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. To be honest, I'm not willing to leave this town just like this. Fast for soldering. The snow in the first few years are still. Oh, the, the scars from shoveling the snow are in the first few years are still on my legs, and I have only repaired the windows at home. Who wants you to live? By the way, the names of the ones talking it's just labeled Town Citizen 1 and Town Citizen 2. 
But there's still there's some truth in what Comrade Eugene said. He always tells the truth. Are you afraid he will? Are you afraid that? What? Are you afraid that he will listen? This, this place is quite close to the meeting room, but. No, no, if. If I was afraid of something, I would have. I wouldn't have come here. None of us have been ever afraid of pioneering. I just want to say, to say that Comrade Vila's words are exactly what everyone's, everyone said when we started. Now that the town has been built, we have, we have lived here for a long time. We are not so busy as before. This is the first time that uh, I have shown the same energy as I did back then, which is quite exciting. Okay. Then work harder and walk faster so that you can go back to work in time. Some working grassroots. It's me. Oh, you. I want to talk. I was just about to look for you, Comrade Evgeny. I've found more details. Here. Trust me, they will ease your mind. Let's skip to the point. I want you to stop your research. What? Our exploration has only just started, yet many of our people have already been hurt. Can you promise there won't be further injuries or worse before we found this fairy tale treasure? Your so-called new resource is still unconfirmed, yet the price we've paid looking for it is already mounting. We had other options, safer options for all of us. We just need to be better prepared. We will arm ourselves with more knowledge for next time. I know what you're after here. The study of ley lines, right? The people here may be enthusiastic, but they are only laymen. I've spoken with someone who can help you far more. It is good to see you. Miss Vinsong. Our proud scholar of a budding, if still informal, school. And you, the big shot from Zeno. Should I feel flattered you stopped by? I read your files as Mr. Evgeny suggested. You know already that Zeno has investigated many arcane cases and been deployed to many places related to Arcanum. But we have never met anyone quite as obsessive in their study as you are. What now? Have the big shots decided they are going to trust my studies? Well... 
while I might admire your perseverance myself, no, they're not convinced. We just wonder what you and your school have gained from this long journey. Enough with the crap. As you wish. First, I believe you owe Comrade Evgeny some thanks. Huh? The less than satisfactory results from your study may not have earned this letter from Zeno. But, Comrade Evgeny insisted on us offering it to you. Once you have our recommendation, you will be able to communicate with all the renowned scholars in our lab. Your long wait for recognition will be over. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. All I ask is, stop this farce. <laughs> Wow, I am so grateful. I think I might cry. All we have to do is wait for Zeno's grace to be bestowed on us. We should be moved to tears by your mercy, no? Putting aside your sarcasm, I would suggest you consider the danger of throwing away this opportunity. You are wasting time, effort. Maybe even lives on some foolish, vile goose chase. V can offer the people here a much safer and more feasible way forward. Don't you see? And what about Ryashki? All things come to an end. It will disappear quietly, overtaken by the wilds of this land, when the time comes. At least, it may leave a small place in the historical records. No offense intended, Mr. Evgeny. We cannot solve the problems we're having without Zeno's help. All of these problems will be solved, as long as we find this new resource. <clears throat> I'm afraid you're mistaken, Miss Vinsong. As far as Sino is concerned, the value of this land is exhausted, fairy tale resources notwithstanding. Once we've transferred the arcanists away, Ryashki will be abandoned. We are aware of the dangers that staying here poses to these people, and it is our responsibility to save them. Whether they wish to resist us or not. That's the only reason for our decision. Understand? <sighs> Let's be practical. Sino has many outstanding young people, a strong academic atmosphere, a better future. You will get the opportunity to revive your school of ley lines if you pass the exam. This will be a better choice for all of you. <laughs> Mr. Big Shot, could you use your rusted brain to think of a more noble reason than consumerism and elitism? Do you really think our desire for a better life is the only reason why we refuse to leave? You used ordinary people as a stepping stone to power and privilege. And even now you take our sacrifices for granted. Reality is cruel. Not you, not Rayashki, and not even Sino can save everyone. 
You will have to deal with that. You should take what is to come as an inevitable optimization of our society's development. I know. Life may still get harder even if we find this new resource. So what? Your brand of elitism may have invaded every corner of the world, but not this town. Not yet. I see. Most scholars like you hold the same naivete. They refuse to leave any of their comrades behind, even if the price is their own future. What we would sacrifice ourselves for is not the study of ley lines or any other personal goals, but our dream to thrive together. To live in a bright future we all can share. As for this... I don't need it. <sighs> a lep never changes its spots. I envy your innocence, Miss Winsor. For many years, I believed that our mission was to change the world. But when I looked up, the gate to the new world was already closed. Little Rayashki just coasted along, and I tried to keep everything the way it was. But I failed. Rayashki is doomed. All our efforts, our will, our dreams. Nothing can change the creeping reality. We attempted to achieve something meaningful, something that could make history, but... The spirit of the times stands against what we are building here. Not just Zeno but the whole world. That's what reality is like. Boring, cruel, disappointing. You are too pessimistic, Comrade Evgeny. Hmm? Zeno has tried to recruit me several times. Do you know what I've learned from all their efforts? They don't want us to explore that mine. They belittled our efforts, offered pity for Ryashki, and then planned out a promising future for us. Yet they didn't give us a hand, even when our people were injured or died. Do you really think they are so eager to stop us just because they don't want any more sacrifices? Uh. <clears throat> of course not, my friend. A lesson I learned from living in their society. Never do what your enemies want you to do. Zeno is afraid of us. They are afraid that we may discover a new kindling to relight our fire. That we may burn so brightly that we grow out from their control to create our own future. You are... But they can't have it their way. Rayashki belongs to us, as does the future. I... 
I will give it some thought, Miss Wing. Homer Winslow. Again, in a minute. Bertolt. Hello, gentlemen. Townsman. Hello, comrades here. Comrades from Steam. Hello, comrades. I'm not muted right now. Right. <laughs> if you came here to see Comrade Yevgeny, Yevgeny, we can wait together for a while. Or do you have any other important matters to attend? First of all, uh, we talk in the northern. Northern something lady is here too. Comrade Yevgeny is doing good for everyone, we all know that. But let me tell you, a person who don't want to leave this space, even though I... Well, oh, no, the lady declined my offer. And comrade Eugene seemed not perfect. Wouldn't Xenos aid be, be a good news to you? I don't see what good it can do to fight against an adequate supply of food, good climate, and comfortable uh, houses. It is not easy to leave something behind you made with your own hands, comrade. I am afraid you have never lived in a house you built yourself nor you have ever lived like this. Uh, I don't think you even touch freshly, freshly mined ore. Indeed, gentlemen, why are you so obsessed with doing things yourself? It seems you have nothing to talk about. I'm here. I'm waiting here for uh, if Guinness, uh reply. Oh my god. There's so many. United and. Everyone has experience dealing with neighbors, but one person always brings more strength. Time for ears to listen. 
or this one? Benefit from reading. Like a metaphor? This book or this one? It turns to speak of truth. To read. Snow will hide everything, including your anxious neighbors. Didn't miss any of the trails, right? Yeah, these are the only ones with them. Lots of long uniforms, they wolves with chairs to match and potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes, uh, potatoes. Oh my god, that's long. There was a, there was like time when we had tin cans and we couldn't even get jam and flour. It's always hard to get supplies over. But it's cold enough that nothing will break on the way. There's no time. We are most in need of time. In the past, the little ones would come and ask for a lot. Even although we couldn't spoil them, it was okay. It was okay to have some in, once in a while. Doing things too rigid is not good for anyone. If I had known that Aliokan would become such a treasure, I would, I would have divided it more carefully. Maybe it could have saved a dollar. A dollar? Uh, what's the... It's money. Maybe it could have saved some money. beginning everyone gathered around the table and carefully divided the uh, tin cans and wiped away the soup. Now that there are more people to feed, there are few fewer choices to eat. There's there are no uh, monsters to catch and cook. Uh, you said, why can't humans uh, eat ores to live like... Why can't humans uh, live by eating ore like them? I want to describe my past life in detail as well as my current life because it is good to come to Ryashiki. It is the best town that I have ever seen, although I have visited very few places.
I'm worried that it's going to disappear. Going to disappear. That's for sure. If Comrade Yvgeny agrees to see this portion, this place with stone soon turn into a snowy land once again. And, the fa and those factories and machines will be covered with snow, just like when we first arrived. have to remember the, a lot of the details so that if kids ask me I can tell them about the thing that disappeared. Yes, this is not written in any of the books. There are so many heroes lining up waiting to be written about but we are just people living in Ryashki, a group of people trying to get by. That's it. I think this is the boss stage. This is the boss stage. It's very obvious. <laughs> What is that? That's a big thing. done any field investigation of lay energy since our school fell apart. Don't worry, Comrade Winsong. Look, these stones are still the same stones Revolve is known. And don't be afraid to fail. My father told me that failure is just success and progress. <laughs> Even if we cannot find this new resource or save our Ryashki, we've come back here together and worked for our common goal. We have nothing to complain about. All right. Whatever the result, we thank you for your efforts. Now, leave the rest to us. Comrade Yuri, check the connection status. Don't forget to check the drill, Comrade Yelena. Relax, it's much easier than opening a can with only your fingers. <laughs> had grown a slender heart. One that each place is known could, and picked up stones there. They are not like the soft, transparent stones from the sky. These are hard, as chocolate. I think they are good stuff, too. Vila said we could make them into guns and houses to help the town. But maybe we will irritate the owner of the stones?
Am I right that this sample is from a hundred meters underground? Yes. Usually we don't need to reach that deep to find runium ore. Relax, comrades. At least it proves there is something new under Ayashti. Hmm. I have been a miner for 40 years, and one thing I know for sure is this. This is not bedrock. It's a Kikituk's hair. The black marks are the new resource we're looking for. The red-brown ones are the Kikituks. And the bright yellow ones are their mineral-eating relatives, the Hoituks. Hmm. The machine will show us the stability of the lay energy in a minute. We are at the source of the lay energy now, so the lines should have been pure. If my eyes serve me right, I think I see bad news. You're right. This source is like an estuary polluted beyond recovery. It is carrying too many traces, both from creatures and non-creatures. Besides, the black ore down there seems to have attracted a large number of critters, which has only worsened the pollution. A senior of mine said in his notes that in this case, it will take a push for the core to activate its self-purification system. Hmm? Shoot, we got a big one. Here it comes. Waves! It's seawater! We should have prepared swimming floats. Yes, but the waves won't reach us if we ride this left. Late energy materializes, put in a 7.62 centimeter sea serpent bone, three drops of common vervain sap, and 20 milligrams of snail sawfish embryo. Way bigger than I thought. It has a beautiful stone on its neck, too. Did your father also fall asleep in the mine? Damn! Is that the raw runium ore that Zeno has been looking for? The energy is so pure. No wonder it materialized into such a huge body. Miners, stay behind us and evacuate! Comrades, stand with me if you got a weapon. No matter if it's a rifle, a staff, or a shovel. Grip them tight. This is our Ryashki's future we're fighting for. We've been waiting for this, haven't we? That's right! Dear comrades, this is the critical moment for our town. No good weapons, no external support, but we have our friends, our family, and each other, who will never leave anyone behind. Yes. There's nothing to be afraid of. We can always figure it out, so long as... So long as we still have hope.
one. Similar to uh, one point five with the like dialogues in the music. Okay, that's the loop. What the Damn hell is that? This thing is huge! No way! Where are all these little monsters hiding? The lay energy here is like a feast set out for the nearby critters. None of them can resist the temptation. That looks cool, I don't know why. That design looks really good. <laughs> What is this, what does it remind me of? Uh, the Elden Ro Lord from Elden Ring. The Gekirns are but dancing, the Gekirats are singing, and the Gekit Dukes are drawing with their breath. Is this their Tin Hat Festival? There is nothing to be afraid of. We've got our comrades. Our weapons and our spirit. Victory will be ours, comrades. I admire your courage. The moment of utterance. The moment of silence. Or this one. Shark faints. Oh right, I can Benefit use all from reading. I at least have this. It like levels you up. Yeah. I mean, I just use my. Yeah, I can just smoke this. This is my position. That's good. I don't know. Like I don't have a task. I just use what I do. Damn it! This thing is no. the Vic <laughs> Welcome, friends. All right. I forgot. Forgetting positioning. Is it which which one is it? to greet a new friend like you? Yeah. I mean... So damn, it. damn it! This thing is huge! No. The le Join with us, comrades! Let's shake hands! 
I will remember your sacrifice. The moment of utterance. This book? <laughs> Shark fangs. <laughs> I... I can't read it. Don't worry. Or this one. The moment of silence. This book salute like a metaphor. Benefit from reading to read. <laughs> Are you serious right now? Boss is still strong, it crashed the game. Come on. <laughs> it's always on the boss. Like, which version is it? I forgot which version is it. It also crashed on the boss. Oh, Miss Burton. Suggest we spend more time. Do I have? I don't have enough. Please don't come here. This is my position. This is why the CN server is the beta for Globe. <laughs> I will remember your sacrifice. Salute! The moment of silence. Or this one. Heart still. Will you be my friends too? Until the torch is lit. Like a metaphor? Cheer up! We share the same dream. I will remember your sacrifice. This book? We share the same dream. I will remember your sacrifice. The moment of utterance. Or this one. To a brighter future for everyone. Keep up the pace. Hmm. I... I can't read that. Mama. There's so much heal. <laughs>
admire your courage. The moment of silence. Are we really doing this? Let's shake hands. For the good of all. Benefit from reading. To read. Take a closer look. Salute. The moment of utterance. Mm. Oh. I will remember your sacrifice. The moment of silence. Let's shake hands. Will this oh. and I need to use this? Marcus, shark fangs. <laughs> I play one time some bosses. <laughs> if I remember. Hmm. And now it's easier to understand. But I'm um, pretty much everywhere else. We made it. Well done, comrades. I knew we could make it. I used to X. <gasps> no, something's wrong. Do you feel it too, Comrade Winsong? Shoot! The lay energy has sensed danger. It's become even more active. It's a rock. To deal with the pollution of other threats, the system will choose critters with potential and make them into its underlings. Can we still defeat it this time? Comrade Vizotsky, do not worry. Look around you. We have got your back. Calm down. Calm down. Think hard. There must be a weakness to this creature. I... I can do this. No, you're wrong, Comrade Winsong. We can do this. Yo, this... I admire your courage. The moment of utterance. Time for tongues to speak of truth. Hard scale. Until the torch is lit. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Sacrifice. 
Are we really doing this? Are we really do are we really doing this? Keep up the pace. Time to turn the page. <sighs> Great. I'm stays. To read. I don't know if I can, if the damage will be enough to kill it, but I'll let the boss do the new damage. So let's just go ahead and the do moment this. of silence. Uh, I admire um, your courage. Uh, we share the same dream. Hmm. Learn from silence. Uh. Magic, get the wounded to the back. Move! No! It's not that bad. I can... Don't push yourself too hard. All of our comrades are willing to fight so we don't have to leave anyone behind. Trust me. All right. All wounded, fall back. Team 3, take their position. Lay down suppressive fire! Comrade Vili is right. We won't leave any of our comrades on the battlefield. It'd be a shame if we didn't get to see you cry at the victory celebration. Got it. For you and for us. To a brighter future for everyone. Wait, I need... Wait, I have or already have. Give me We welcome everyone. You can do this, Marcus, or this one. <laughs> no friends. to understand. To speak of this truth. Book? Are we really doing this? I hope you like it here, even if you are bad friends. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Wait, 
We made it! Good job, comrades. They will be talking about this day for decades. <laughs> I didn't expect that energy from you, comrade Yuri. <laughs> See? I don't only build houses, I also build this rock-solid body. Make a head count of the wounded, and check our remaining supplies. We will need to work in groups of three, in case the creators come back. Thank you, comrades. All of you. The glory goes to every one of us. Keep going. For our dream, comrade. Pull the sand, but... That's it. It's such a good listen, dude. Did we make it? After we drove the critters away, the self-purification system began to run slower. Ha <laughs> Time to go all out! Let's go, comrades! For a brighter future! Its energy has not run out yet. What on earth? It's the ore! Damn it, don't tell me it's still powering this thing! I see. So we just break that stone, and it's over, right? Yes. Theoretically. Leave it to me! I'm the marksman here! Just need to get a little closer. Little closer. Comrade Adrian, Comrade Daniel, and I will go with you. There may be something we can do. Okay! Comrades, watch out! Attacks cannot break the stone at all. Comrade Winsor, what? What is going on? <sighs> the cycle of lay energy is long. It may take months, years, or even longer than that to return to its source. As long as that ore remains on its neck, the lay energy will continue with the purification until it wipes out everything around. So all we can do is wait? For our own safety, we'd better stay out of this area until it completely returns to the source. I should have seen this coming. I'm so sorry. Comrade Patrick, Comrade Tikita, you're not down yet, right? Anyone else? We still got the digger, the crane, and our own strength. Let's try harder. 
It's nothing more than a stupid stone. We can do this. That's our last chance. Stop this senseless sacrifice, Comrade Knut. It's pointless to keep going. But to save Ryashki is also your dream, no? Our little one from afar swore she would unite all of us, no matter who we are or where we're from. We must keep all that in our minds. How can we give up now? I'm so happy I came here and made friends with all of you, comrades. You each have a kind heart and a strong will. Before I met you, my dream was only a joke to the other self. But you've shown me it isn't unreachable. Now it feels so real and heartwarming. Sometimes I almost forget that you see the fins and scales on my body. That's why I don't want you to sacrifice yourself for nothing. I don't want to lose you. What we want is to stay together. That's why we're fighting to save Rayashki. Right? These ones have lost their feathers. Are we still able to reach the sky? I must thank you, Comrade Winslow. You've rekindled something in me, in us. I will tell you that I read some papers on your ley lines after midnight. It holds some great ideas, I admit. You and Ryashki deserve a better future. you to Zeno only because I was worried for your future. I did not want you to be stuck in a dying town. Comrade, you kidding me? And it gives me pain to see how brave and determined you all have been. Wait. I won't let any of you die here. Oh, the no. sad thing is, I took a very different path long ago. But what does it matter now? Ryashki is proud of you. I am proud of you. You will continue to build the new world of your dreams. Our dream. No matter where or when. I will always be there with you. Seize the opportunity. Vila, Winsong, my comrades! Oh, 07 Природа это числа и черты. Hold. Hold. Comrade Yevgeny. No. Kchortu! 
This is not fair. Just because he was the only pilot here doesn't mean he could make that decision alone. We should have had a boat. We fixed that fighter together. That asshole left us behind. But he will always be our comrade, right? Salute. But where is the sea swallow? He flew into the future, child. The future will all reach one day. There's still more. Oh my god, what is this? If this is... Nope. You're here, Comrade Villa. Send the children home and spend some time. What did you find? It's not found. Comrade Yevgeny once mentioned that he had some things in the company. In the company. said when the opportunity comes take them out here we go that's everything whoa Евгений. Wait, this is not voiced. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I just do it fast. My hands tremble slightly, shoulder firmly. Engraved by the bottom of the vast name, Comrade Yevgeny. Open the lid in paper. Uh, Villa took a deep breath and identified the writing in front of her. This is the letter. Don't waste your time on me. As soon This is this is uh Evgeny's final uh uh final words. Like he she understood that this is her that this is his final words. I took time to write down some plans for future uh, development of Rayash. My personal, personal vision must be limited, but it might give you some ideas moving forwards. 
number four. The first priority is uh, the resource issue. We must focus on uh, maintenance and uh, exploitation of resource and plan as soon as possible. I will try my best to list all type of resources, read suggestions and precautions I can think of. The second is the maintenance buildings in the town and a small amount of daily work where uh, critters of often hung out. Is it? In addition, there was some parts mixed with a small amount of rune ore. Which are valuable for recycling. There are a few pieces that have been found in the box. The paper space is limited. The detailed plans are written in my diary, which is on the table in the room. Cooperating with, cooperating with uh, Sino is on the list of options. Remember, we're uh, faced with the worst situation. The first thing, the first priority is to survive. Wish you all the best. Salute to every, salute to every comrade, Yevgeny. This is not even the last chapter. <gasps> the last chapter. This is on the side. <laughs> the letter is written here. Hmm. He followed Chu in his own style. Hmm. Why don't you say something else this time? <sighs> Comrade Divgini has always shown dress in uh, practical action. Or maybe uh, he has too much to say and can write it write it all on a piece of paper or he doesn't have enough time cheer up and let's get let's go to that work leg or work diary later i will uh, tell everyone the content of the letter it's time to start thinking in uh it's time to start uh thinking about the future development plans Let's go from red. Okay, when when we're done, let's go to the cliff and talk to this guy. Hmm. Who's this guy? Speaking of which, I can finally get some wine. Or if this is uh, Russia, is it really wine? Maybe it's just referring. Sometimes uh, wine just refers to alcohol. The word for wine just refers to alcohol. So yeah. 
if I could bring a bottle or two. So, can be any. What is this? What is this? <laughs> Thought we we're almost then. What is happening? I will remember it. to do all of this okay. my duty lies with you I will remember the moment of silence. Shut up, Faith. Turn the page. Benefit from reading. Um, did I miss something? We share the same dream to a brighter future for everyone. Transcribe. Vila's uh, still sound effects sounds nice. Uh, I just don't it. Or this book? The moment of utterance. To read. and dust or it's describing the activities on the square town square the uh, people's town square uh, like some came with mining picks some holding wash bandages some were reading under the statue square children's street from the line Started going out of hand. Uh, hurricane blowing, wind blowing from the end of the square to the other. Everyone's trying hard to talk to the person next to them until there another voice came up. Uh, the teacher from another town has arrived and she's the best proof of the ideal life here. Comrade who has come from a distant place. From legends to the town and to us. See? Our will can move even uh, 
vague stories and turned them into reality. All this could have gone on all day and night if she hadn't clapped in her hands and announced, see you tomorrow. We all have something to say to the town's future. The number of hopes we gathered uh, is quite astonishing. Everyone is working hard. A strong hot, a strong uh, feeling of pride heated up everyone's heart. Oh. Unity. Stumble this is the last one. Comrade Villa. Villa. Comrade Villa. Comes here often and she dresses like a. I don't know what that means. Probably a creature of some kind. I taught her how to show to sue clothes. Other comrades would also be afraid. Bring frayed clothes and socks in baskets and chips. I've been doing this. No matter how good this slogan is, still have clothes to wear and ready. Right, the rest is not what I consider. Fortunately, Comrade v Villa took good care of the children before before the thing I was wor most worried about was that after the pictures left, no one would come, but no one would have the time to look after the children just throw your kids out on the streets and let them run around they're not if you just throw your kids out on the streets and let them run around they're not going to grow up uh, well I'm so grateful to her I feel comfortable here. Although the life is hard work here, there is endless work, but we are working hard for our comrades. The experience is valuable. Anyone who has ever shared uh, food on a long table, talk with real people, from different places, work hard, shake hands, hold each other comrade, everyone will believe it, that this life is uh, valuable. It is powerful, my friend. It feels like, br uh, feels like brown bread. Hmm? Very rough, but then very filling. Oh shit. I accidentally. Come on. You know what? I'll, I'll read it. I'll read it here. Whether it's Comrade Villa or Comrade Yevgeny, uh, I believe in them. This town won't disappear easily. Rayakshi is here, and La and Rayakshi is will be always will always be here.
this time but this is the last one. That's a lot of reading. <laughs> Take heart, comrades! Everything he did was for Ryashki. We shared the same dream, didn't we? To do all we can for the good of the people. Reporting. Drilling rig clear. Ready for new exploration. That's the spirit. We must keep going. Hold the period. Yuri, start the machines. On it! Take this. It's my best friend. I think it will be glad to have another best friend. I will become a great hero like you. It's a promise. A man's promise. Well, why are your feathers wet, Piotr? <laughs> You have water on your face, Miss Winson. Can kids still cry after they grow up? I should have known. The abnormal fluctuation of the lay energy and how much of an attraction it is to the critters. I should have noticed they were different from my theory. At least this experience will be valuable for the study of ley lines, won't it? Take it in, and make something of it. I am sure it will be of more help in the future. You are not only doing this for yourself, or for me, but for those who sacrificed for all of us. We found it! This must be the new resource! Cole! It is Cole! We did it! <laughs> this is our coal! Comrades, we will use it to cook our meal tonight! And it will be the best meal I've ever had! Is that so, Comrade Nikita? You got a problem with my food, huh? I made a rough estimate. The resource here should last hundreds of years. For the first time in history, the theory of ley lines has been verified. There is no doubt your work deserves a fair assessment now. Thank you for your help, Miss Vila. We achieved this together, didn't we? Of course. The glory goes to every one of us.
I'm very glad to see you again, Miss Vinson. <laughs> Are you? You don't look glad at all. <laughs> I admit, I underestimated the people here. Especially well, you, Miss Vinson. Well. I mean, that's just the IRL. The great heroine who found coal deep beneath the town, huh? So, did I manage to ruin Zeno's little plans? We have nothing left to do here. Zeno will leave soon. I know we disagree on many things. Our future included. Still, Sino looks forward to working with you again. Hopefully in a more friendly way. This mount is no longer slanted like before. It's like down now. I hope so too. You don't want to be embarrassed by another lowly researcher again. Do you? Goodbye, Miss Vinsong. Wait! I have one last question. Please, I'm at your service. Zeno confirmed the existence of Hoytuks in Ryashki months ago, but you just took care of them without letting anyone know. You already knew there would be a large reserve of coal here, didn't you? I never doubted it. We can dig through this ocean soil. We can find a way to live in this place. Even the north wind is spreading our heat and filling our stomach. What is there that we can't find longer? If Xeno has their own set of rules, I can't get used to I can't get used to it. Just like this part. You have already all shit system. Yes, we can live the life by ourselves. We don't need to need to look for others to take the lead. To be honest, if there is a fight. I will only use uh, wrenches and pliers, but I will use the tools at hand. I must have weapons. We are not afraid of them. <laughs> the children should go out and have a look. I took advantage of my youth and path I had with my friends and got here. We polished for this and inspected ours before. Now the now my practice. Is is run at the highest high in the town. We didn't come to react just for fun. They thought wrong. I will remember the sacrifice. Keep up the pace. Time to check my calculation. Benefit from reading. The moment of action. We walk in long nights. 
After thorough discussion, the people of Rayashki have made their final decision. I stand here to declare the future direction of Rayashki. As of today, Rayashki will be no longer affiliated with any organizations, and all factories dedicated to processing of runium ore will be shut down. What are we going to do for the work, Sam? I don't want to sit around at home living on benefits. There will be many things to do, Comrade Valeria. As the elites above us struggle for power, we, ordinary people, suffer in darkness. But now, there will be a new source of power. One built to lift up the people, not to take from them. And it will run on Rayashki Kol. We will start new factories in Rayashki and explore the possibilities of working with other coal producers nearby. We will mine with our own hands and feed ourselves. Maybe we can even build a dock and sell our products far away. We will raise a new banner above Rayashki one welcoming all ordinary people to come to a livable place with abundant power and job opportunities for their future. <laughs> what about your plan, Comrade Winsong? I think... I'm going to stay for a while. You need to know that for now, we must tighten our belts. Everyone's rations must be cut for some time until Rayashki gets back on its feet. At least for now, the study of ley lines belongs here, not in the fancy halls and symposiums of human academia. This place still holds many possible research avenues. Monitoring the changes in the environment, further detailing the local lay energy map, maybe even studying the mutation of the Kikituks. I must finish them to further develop the study before it is ready for academia again. Then it sounds like you may be with us for a long time yet. Good. <laughs> And don't forget, you're expected to cut the ribbon at the ceremony. Miss 
one song, I want to apologize for being rude to you during class. I'll bring you some friendship cheese next time to apologize, I promise. You will always be our comrade. Hats off to you. Song. I think we performed very well at the ceremony. Will you come teach us again? We want to learn more too. Same here. Dun, 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 <laughs> Miss Winsong, these sunflowers we planted are blooming. We protected the town. We begin the next chapter of Rayashki today. I'm so glad we will build it together. Привет, Rayashki. Still not done. <laughs> I found the parts everyone has been looking for. Just in their free time recently, you can yes, it can always be of some use. This little thing is behind the base of the statue. Yes, our sturdy little bear is here. And the old statue has made room for him. But the sit is still there. I guess he'll leave the parts here. Comrade Yevgeny. Oh, he didn't notice that Rayashki was changing. Things will always change. He remembers when it didn't look too good at first. There was no such big... There was not a big square here at the time. We dug it uh, bit by bit with shovels and moved and laid down the stones for salt. No one thought that Ayashki would become as beautiful as it is now. We rarely have this fate or, or dream to just do it. Now things may change in uh, Ayashi. What will it become? Everything is changing fast. 
we have swimming pools and schools. They seem to have built, been built suddenly. The moment uh, the project was completed, we immediately forgot how long it took to uh, get it to look like this. The pain we suffered, the huge joy, made us. Uh, well, right. We immediately forgot how long it took to get it to look like this and the pain uh, we had suffered. The huge joy made us feel that all that sweat and blood was worth it. I don't want to live. Af I'm afraid I'll grow fast than this town. Those who came back felt like strangers themselves. You know, everything often happens just overnight. I know this. Oh my god, we're, we're literally mining. Tantarayashi in my memory, it's almost another nickname for Union uh, War. This may be because I happen to be the one responsible for sticking this thing they are. Most of the guys that uh, most of the guys that came here with great ideals on their back, but I didn't know what to do, so I just filled my in my name in the list. I got out of the car and in the back of a high of an eye. Here we are. Fortunately, except for the surrounding uh, critters and the land that is too hard to chew. Things are pretty simple. It's just physical work all day long, huh? But the uh, critters also have egg for food, so I forget. Let's talk about the current situation. The new factory was built to accomplish the almost impossible goal, and we created the mirror. It was not given by any existence, but created by everyone. A real miracle. I didn't feel anything before. I just live like this every day, but now I believe I'm doing something meaningful. Not that with, not that great, a little more than what humans usually are. Jesus. Yes, you can you can't do it alone. It's rare to have such opportunity in your life. What can you find where can you find compatriots who will swing the hammer with you? I will try to tell this into legends together with the deeds of Comrade Eugenie. Of course, it's appropriate to exaggerate a little. Some people need this kind of legendary story the most. 
cheers to the new factor. It's just, it's literally communism. Snow. Take a good look at the square, it became smaller. A softly contoured polar bear in the middle, and the children are uh, reaching out to touch its paws. Snow covers the bear's head, giving it a uh, brooding look. The well is a cheerful atmosphere. And all over the ground, flowers covered almost all the stones and snow. And the bear lived quietly, really, and Right. Yellow. This is one of the important places to visit in Ryashki. Perhaps the uh, town's kitchen can accommodate so many people. Many public resolutions have taken place here and will continue to do so. Not long ago, it was decided to accept another invitation and let children go outside and have a look. Along the road, the road illuminated by the sun, the red dot strips wrap. The red dot strips wrap around the trees, fluttered up and down in the wind. People find familiar images and traces of their past lives here. Although people who's, who come here rarely talk about their hometown, this is what Rayash is to be like. What they once expected to see in their homeland, but never realized that just like the horizon seen from the distance in Rusalpa to the cold current. Like a picture painted by the tribal link cable managers, like the hometown of visiting, visiting foundation members that no longer exist, like the promise made by the previous generation to the next generation. The more difficult it is to realize the ideal, the greatest is death. Uh, the more difficult it is to realize the idea. The greater it is. It is it cannot be destroyed because it is unattainable. There is much to do in life. The, the descendants. Oh my god, she's in the phone. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was hoping you'd be here. Oh, um, is this a bad time? I 
<laughs> no, it's all right. Have a seat. I'm not a pure Rosalka. As you can see, I must get in touch with water every once in a while to replenish my power from the ocean. <clears throat> Hello, Comrade Vila. It's been a while, Comrade Winsome. They say you're working hard in the mine, and the study of ley lines is getting popular among the workers. They have helped a lot. My research on the environment wouldn't have gone nearly so smoothly without them. It's given a second life to my studies, and it is growing so well. It has even gained some recognition beyond Rayashki. I... I'm truly happy that I came here. I never thought Z Comrade Winsong would be so bashful over her accomplishments. I thought you were more stubborn and confident than that. Hmm. I'm only teasing, Comrade. It's a matter of fact that you're not as fearless as you pretend to be, isn't it? That's why we must all stick together to make up for each other's weaknesses and make Rayashki proud. Sorry, the speeches have become an occupational habit. <laughs> Fine, you got me. But it's not a big deal. Just as you are not quite the gentle and demure school teacher that you appear to be. Are you, comrade? We're even. <clears throat> Actually, I've come to say goodbye. Laplace has invited me to give a lecture for their European branch. They want me to give a lecture on how I combined environmental analysis with the Arcanum based on what we've done here in the Rayashki. Sounds like a very promising new beginning for your studies. How are things going in the town? We are getting more visitors now. It seems people are eager to see something different. I'm sure they will. We've also begun cooperating with many governments and agencies near us, including the Foundation. They hope to carry out some short-term training on the Arcanum for the children. What's this? Open it. It's from the Foundation. Mr. Nameday invites me to visit the Foundation and discuss further cooperation. The children are also waiting for me there. It seems they mentioned you all the time during their training. Did we miss the ley line exam? The Foundation has all sorts of incredible things. Like biting coins, noisy corbels, a glass pen with rainbows inside. So much fun! I've mastered a lot of incantations! I must have talented everyone. Yeah, we miss Comrade Alyonka, Comrade Blinchik, and Comrade Piroshki. They say we will be able to go home in a few months. I must master the most powerful arcane skills by then, so I can use them to protect the town. We'll transform into sea swallows. Then we'll be able to fly and fly to far, far away. Because Linska University Hospital received a rare case today. 
The patient's veins irreversibly transformed into electric wires. As of 1800, all arterial, venous, and capillary tissues throughout the patient's body have undergone necrosis. That's a storm. The director said they would invite more professionals to the consultation to decide on further research direction. Global Variety News has claimed the case may become one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the era. They started a new column to analyze possible compatibilities between the patient's new wired veins and different appliances. Please stay tuned for more details. I think that's just a, just a The storm, Flying storm. Carpet Travel Agency is starting a tour around Northern Europe. Where you will be able to see the breathtaking Aurora Borealis, pet fluffy keycairns, and even enjoy a flying carpet race. The destination of our tour is Ryashki. A mysterious town, the warmest place in the Arctic Circle, sitting atop many rich veins of coal. When you get there, we suggest that you abide by the town's wishes and work to earn what you need instead of buying it, though this is not an obligation, of course. But why not have a try when you're given the opportunity to experience a new and better lifestyle? Trust me, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Where should I start, dear readers? Rayashki is like a sparkling gem embedded into the permafrost, and above lies an eye-catching banner. Perhaps it will draw even Let's more attention again. in the future. Through the past decades, the citizens there have been trying to achieve something different for themselves. A great cause, which may take the work of generations to achieve. But now, they are no longer a nameless town in the far north, nor is their dream a passing fad bound to be forgotten. I sincerely hope all of us will be able to witness its history and its future. That's why I knew I must write down this story in the hopes that their dream will remain in your heart forever. The end. This is kind of good. All of this. I'll do the. I'll miss it. I can do this. of silence. It could be found. Keep up the pace. Until the torch is lit. Hmm. Intercept and avoid. This was obviously like a feeler. Careful with the uh, pace. Patch for uh, the anniversary next patch. 
but it's still for something that is just on the side. It's just like it's really decent. The moment of utterance. Or this one. Even that. The moment of silence. The moment this of utterance. Book, it could be found. We walk in long nights. Benefit from reading. I... I can't read it. Aha! Uh -huh. <sighs> Marcus is so like... <laughs> so good. We share the same dream. Or this one. We share the same dream. I will remember your sacrifice. Are we really doing this? This book? To a brighter future for everyone. For the good of all. <sighs> Great. No mistakes. To transcribe. Courage. The moment of silence. You can do this, Marcus. This book? Heart's here. Benefit from reading. Hmm. And now it's easier to understand. I hope next patch is um, to turn the page. main story. The anniversary patch. So it's chapter 8 kinda ended abruptly. Chapter 8, that chapter 8, 1.8, ch main chapter. I keep messing that up. Chapter 6 ended abruptly. I mean, every chapter ends abruptly. <laughs> I feel like it's supposed to continue immediately. Are we really doing this? Oh, oh. Time for tongues to speak of truth. Are we really doing this? Or this one? I... I can't read it. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Very secure. I should excuse myself. And the third one. Six sack mount. Nice. Comrade, what do you say? Shall we solve the problem with the strength? I'll redo this one as I get the proper start level demo. I will remember your sacrifice. 
I admire your courage. Or this one. It could be found. Sharp pain. Benefit from reading. Time to turn the page. Intercept and avoid. Rational. I will remember your sacrifice. The moment of silence. This book? Or this one? Keep up the pace. We walk in long nights. Like a metaphor? Great. No mistakes. Don't worry. We share the same dream. I will remember your sacrifice. You can do this, Marcus. Or this one. To a brighter future for everyone. Sharp pain. Hmm. And now it's easier to understand. See you. I'll Time just to turn the do page. This stop the stream so There's so many parts. Are we really doing it in that? Until the torch is lit. To transcribe. Time to check my calculation. Uh, um, did I miss something? I have the lack of stuff to need to upload on like global videos that I haven't been able to upload yet so maybe I'll do that first sending. I'll upload it. But yeah, I'll I don't know. What to do. I need to do I have the lack of stuff for this. I need to do August Fashion Face and Villa Surface. I don't know when. You can do this, Marcus. I need to speak of truth. It could be found. Given that. Hmm. And now it's easier to understand. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Time to check my calculation! Oh, it's a bubble! Huh. Demonstration. The moment of silence. This book is in that. Well 
Welcome to the world of numbers! Learn from science. I... I can't read it. Intersect and divide. Stay balanced. I admire your courage. I will remember your sacrifice. Could be even that. Heart scale. For you and for us. The moment of silence. The moment of utterance. Are we really doing this? <laughs> like a metaphor? Hmm. To read. I admire your courage. The moment is the moment of utterance. You can do this, Marcus. Keep up the pace. Until the torch is lit. Benefit from reading. Hmm. And now it's easier to understand. Careful with the pages. Cheer up! The moment of silence. The moment of utterance. Are we really doing this? Or this one? It could be found. Until the torch is lit. <sighs> Great! No mistakes! Time to turn the page! Well done. Yes, we always feel most at home in the water. Hmm. Let me look at the OST.
just taught me a lesson. It seems that kids lose their focus quickly, no matter their age. stream now but the uh, music I need to mm. where is it where's OBS